Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Ralston girl shooting three pointers and warming up. Shot from the corner. Shot from the top. Shot from the free throw line. Caleb Rabick walking to the locker room. Girl dribbling across half court. Refs talking. Shot from the top of the key. Girl dribbling back across half court. Picks up ball. Keeps dribbling. Mr. Hahn walks across the court. Shot from the corner. Shot from the wing. Girl dribbling across half court. Sound check, sound check, 6.30, sound check, 6.30, sound check, 6.25, sound check, 6.20. Both of them the same? Okay. We're just trying to get the time down in. Sound check, 535. Sound check, 530. Sound check, 525. And who else? Krause, Razzi. Um, and I did Carson Downs last week. We can start here about. We won't do starters or anything until like when they're doing starters. Okay. Actually, let's go about three. Yeah, the whole goal is just to keep it rolling.
if I put so if I put just a one or is it a tally or just yeah you just change the number just change it so it'd go two to four okay Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we are witnessing the second girls matchup of the Louisville Holiday Tournament between the Louisville Lions ladies and the Lady Ralston Rams. I am joined here by elementary principal, Mr. Mathis. And thank you so much, Gage Schulting Jr. here for Louisville uh, High School. I am so pleased to be able to be, offer some commentary tonight. Uh, against Louisville and Ralston. The first matchup, uh, BRLD took down Nebraska City 58 to 31. BRLD's press was just too much for the Pioneers tonight. Looking forward to this second matchup. Yeah, the Lions have been extremely successful on the year with a uh, record of four and four on the season so far. Some good wins, some tough losses, and they're looking to uh, take their home tournament here and especially the first game. Tomorrow they will be taking on the BRLD Wolverines, which as Mr. Mastha said, took down Nebraska City earlier today. Second matchup tonight will be uh, the Ralston Rams boys against the six and two home Louisville Lions. You'd mentioned some tough losses. They, they are four and four Louisville Lion girls. Uh, just coming off a really tough one point loss to Malcolm, 42 to 43. That's their second one-point loss of the year, also losing to Weeping Water 45-46. to So they're some close games away from being 6-2 and two on the year. Uh, looking to match up against Ralston tonight, who comes in at 0-5, coming off a 68-30 to 30 loss against Auburn. Ralston is coached by uh, Paul Markley. This is his fifth year coaching at Ralston. He is also a fourth-grade elementary teacher. Shout out to all of our teachers out there. Uh, trying to teach during these difficult times. We hope you are getting a relaxing and well-needed and well-deserved break uh, over this holiday season. What are we looking for uh, for our starters here, uh, Gage? Are we uh, doing we'll do anthem the first anthem here? First. Sounds good. Or actually, I believe we are doing the, the lineups first. Uh, starters for the Ralston Rams, number 10, a 5'5 five five senior, Abby High, Number 12, a 5'5 sophomore, Brooke Tayraw. Number 30, a 5'10 junior, Nevaeh Sanders. Number 42, a 5'10 junior, Camille Adler. Number 44, a 5'9 junior, Alex Johnson. And before we announce our Lady Lions, we will be doing the national anthem here.
Friday in our starters for our Lady Lions. Number three, a 5'7", senior, Mackenzie Norris. Number five, a 5'11", senior, Jennifer Katz. Number 21, a 5'11", freshman, Lexi Hands. Number 23, a 5'7", junior, Avery Heilig. And number 31, a 5'7", senior, Lauren Voda. Uh, a huge, huge highlight for the Lady Lions this year is their production out of their freshmen, obviously starting one, and uh, Lexi Hands and one coming off the bench, Ella Johnson. Ella Johnson had, had a few bright games so far out of their eight so far. Dropped 20 points against the Nebraska City ladies that played earlier today. So she, they are looking to be uh, the future of the Lions going forward. I, I talked to Coach Johnson about what it's like to coach his freshman daughter and to have his other daughter on, on the bench coaching. Um, the other coaches for the Lady Lions, we have Jeffrey Hahn, um, Carrie All, Maya Johnson, and for the Ralston uh, Lady Rams, Paul Markley is their head coach, Mark Skiles, Sadie Hinkle, and Lauren Shimquitz uh, will be on their bench coaching them today. We are getting ready for the tip-off. Um, I am Shane Mathis, joined by Junior Lion Gage Schulting. We are looking forward to a great game between the 0-5 Ralston Rams and the 4-4 Louisville girls basketball team. Here we go. Number five, Jennifer Katz will be tipping for the Lions, and number 10, Abby High, will be jumping for the Rams. Mackenzie Norris got a quick fast break, missed the layup, and now the Ralston Rams are bringing the ball up the court. Gage, I won't be as entertaining as Mr. Krause, but I'll <laughs> do my best. No, it's all good. Avery gets the steal and falls and then gets it to Mackenzie Norris. Here we go. Their second possession of the game. 0-0 zero, zero so far with 7.25 left to go in this first quarter. Jennifer Katz gets it on the wing, swings it up to learn vote on top. To Lexi hands in the wing to Norris in the corner. Norris looks, gets it into the post for Katz. Gets it up to the Voda, who shot is up and no good. Rams will get the rebound. Rams will bring it on the court. Swings it up top to Alex Johnson. Gets it down in the post and the shot is no good. Avery Howe will get the rebound and bring it back down the court for the Lions. Was good pace, get, kicks it out to Norris in the wing. Her three is up and no good off the back iron. But Katz gets the rebound, kicks it out to Hands. Back up to the wing for Heilig. Good three point shooter for the Lions. Down to Hands in the corner to Katz with dribbles down to the baseline. Kicks it out to Norris, back up top. Heilig pump fakes, drives, looks to reset the offense. Gives it to Hands in the corner. Down to, po down to Jennifer Katz in the short corner. There Which we go. Gets it to Lauren Voda. Lauren Voda scores, gets the Lions on the board. Lauren Voda talking to Mr. Johnson. Coach Johnson is a undersized post, but she gets the most out of it. She works so hard, and they are so happy to have her effort on the court. Rams are passing around number 10. Passes off to number four, 44. Alex Johnson gets it down low. Shot is no good. Lauren Vogel gets the rebound. Gives it to Lexi Hand. She brings it down the court. Passes up to Avery Heilig. Ball's contested, but Avery gets it. Avery drives in. Gives it to Hands. Hands shot is up and no good. Alex Johnson gets the rebound for the Rams. Number 10, Abby High, 5'5". Five five. Senior brings it up the court. Talking to their coach, Markley. They're going to do a five-out offense. Coming off a tough loss to Auburn. Oh, Abby High with the three. No good. Out of bounds to the Lions. Lions will take possession, and Lauren Vettel will bring it out. Pass it in like the hands. 2-0, Lions out. 5-15 left here in the first quarter. Likes the hands bring it on the court for the Lions. She looks around and swings at the high league. Kenzie Norris. Or Jennifer Katz, I mean, doing work in the post. Kicks it at the high league for the three. Three is no good. Alex Johnson will get the rebound. Alex Johnson taking control Back of the board. Backdoor so cut far. by 42. Gets the Rams on the board. Adler, the 5'10 junior. 
Nice backdoor cut there by the Rams. How he get the ball in the corner, she'll drive in, look to pass it off to Hands. Hands gets it wide open, down in the co short corner for Katz, back at the Hands, up to Heilig at the three-point line. Heilig will drive in, gets the left-handed J, and it's good, 4-2 Lions, 4.30 left here in the first quarter. Lions seem to be showing some sort of press here. And Heilig will get the steal, and she'll drive in for a shot, and she is fouled on the shot, so she'll go to the line for two. That'll be the Rams' first team foul of the night. Number, number 42, Camille Adler, her first two. Lady Lions, very good free throw shooting team so far this year, not missing a whole bunch. Heilig's first free throw is up and good. Gage, Check. Avery was gone for a, a year or two, now she's back. I know yep. the Lions are happy to have her scoring presence back in the lineup. Yep, she transferred to Bellevue East for a couple years and played some really good ball up there and decided she wanted to come back home to Louisville. So here she is being a huge contributor for the Lions. Her second free throw is up and good, 6-2 Lions, 4.30 left in the first quarter. Ella, Ella Johnson, Sagan Leach, and Leah Kalkowski checking in the game for the Lions. Rams struggle with the press, get it over. Abby High with the pass. Now Tayrall, the 5'10 sophomore. Alex Johnson with the three is no good. Rebounded by number 30, Nevaeh Sanders. And Out of bounds to the Rams. That'll be a ball off Leah Kalkowski, so the Rams will keep possession here with four minutes left in the first quarter. High to throw it in, short corner. Out to Adler, back to Johnson. Makes a post move and double, double dribbles. Dribble. Turnover back to the Lions. Lions play pretty clean basketball so far this year. Not a whole lot of turnovers or fouls. So they're being pretty efficient so far. That's what keeps them in a lot of their games. So back down the court, Sagan Leach will get the ball in the corner up to Kalkowski. Back to Leach, back to Kalkowski. L. Johnson doing some work in the post, looking for that opening. Leach to Kalkowski going back and forth, then to Gaston, and Gaston is blocked on the shot. Rams will get the rebound and bring it down the court, number 42, Camille Adler. Tipped out of bounds, Rams are gonna have the ball underneath. Rams are led in scoring by junior, 5'9", junior Alex Johnson, with just about five points per game. High will throw it in on the baseline to Adler, does a post move back out to Johnson, puts on the line for two, no good. A number 42, Camille Adler get the rebound. And another turnover back to the Lions. Kenzie Norris is going back up to the scorer's table, check back into the game. Sagan Leach gives it off to Kalkowski in the corner. Back to Leach. Down to Johnson in the corner and she is fouled. That'll be Alex Johnson's first foul, team second so far. And she's not a person the Rams want to have in foul trouble being their leading scorer and most predominant player for them. 6-2, Lions advantage with 3.15 left here in the first quarter. Kalkowski will pass it in for the Lions. Gives it to Johnson right under the hoop. Johnson's layup is good. Her first points of the night. That makes it 8-2, and this press is causing problems for the Rams. 3.09 left to go in the first quarter. Three is off and no good. Rebounded back to the Lions and Ella Johnson. Second lead to bring it up to the court, up the court for the Lions. Kenzie Norris looks to drive in and she'll travel. First turnover of the game for the Lions. That's just a physical, physical error for the Lions, but Coach Johnson can afford that. He really wants to avoid the mental errors, the physical er errors he can work with. Gage, what is it about this Lions press that causes so much problems for, for their opponents? I see them causing a lot of turnovers. Yeah, I think I think one of the major problems is having Ella Johnson, she's just bigger than everyone else and longer arms and she can move way better than uh, a lot of the opposing teams. And so she's just a huge force to have up top for the Lions. Well, Ralston does get it across half court. It's just under three minutes remaining. Alex Johnson has it up top to Adler for three and good. Nice shot from the left corner wing. Three pointer makes it eight to five. Because the Norris looks to drive in, gives it to Leach to Jack Gaston back up at the free throw line and her free, not free throw. Her jumper is good, 10-5 Lions. Kalkowski with the steal, she gives us the Leach under the hoop and Leach's layup's no good. And Leach saves good it out of bounds, soul. gets it back to Johnson and her points are good, her fourth point of the night. 12 to five, this press, the Lions put four people on, on the other side of half court. That is tough to get by, but they break it and a travel 
by the Rams back to the Lions. We have a ton of Lions checking in here. Who is all checking in here? Avery Heilig, Lexi Hands, Lauren Voda, and Jennifer Katz all check back in for the Lions. Yeah, I think, like you said, uh, the part of the problem for the Rams is the Lions are just so quick, especially having Sagan Leach. She's extremely fast, and Ella Johnson, everyone just so big and much more lanky than them. Usually in these holiday tournaments, the winners would face each other, but it has already been predetermined due to COVID um, that uh, Louisville will face BRLD, and that game is either going to be tomorrow or Wednesday due to the weather, and Ralston will face Nebraska City. In the first game of the girls' competition, uh, BRLD um, put it to Nebraska City, 58-31, to 31, I do believe. And that's an extremely good uh, BRLD girls' team. Made it to state last year, I know. My Uncle Rod's actually the coach for them, so we went down and watched them play Ralston, or not Ralston, uh, went down and watched them play Crofton at Lincoln North Star, and that was a good game. But they uh, they lost first round, but that's still a promising year for the Wolverines so far this year. In the second game of our holiday tournament, BRLD boys also beat Nebraska City. BRLD is coming off a state championship. They are a very well-known program. It sounds like the girls are... Yeah. are very successful as well. All right, here we go. 2.11 left to go. Lions have the ball. Lexi Hands brings it up the court for the Lions over to Heilig. Heilig gets it down to Katz in the corner. Lauren Vota doing some work in the post. To Hands, to Heilig. Heilig's three is up and no good. Alex Johnson gets the rebound as she has all night for the Rams. And Adler brings it up the floor. If the Rams can get a rebound and not have the Lions score, then not have to deal with that press. They're going to have a much more successful night. Okay, the Rams Heilig. are passing it around. Heilig gets a steal. She drives it down the court. Alex Johnson contesting. Heilig spins. Layup is up and good. That'll be Avery Heilig's sixth point of the night. 14 to 5. Rams are struggling again, but they do get it off uh, back into the half court. Working their offense up top to Alex Johnson. Another three by Adler is no good. Tipped around and rebounded by the Rams. Adler will get the offensive rebound. I'm impressed by Alex Johnson so far. She always seems to have the ball in her hand trying to get her team on the right track. Hey, Lions look. are in a 2-3 zone it looks like. With the Rams playing that five out, they are going to get few three-pointers. No good. Rebound to the Lions. Lexi Hands will bring the ball up to court. Heilig. Heilig cross-court pass to Norris. Norris left-handed layup is good. 16-5. Lions up here. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. And that press is on again. We have a foul by Mackenzie Norris. Mackenzie's first foul of the night. Team's first. Looking good for the Lions so far. No one in foul trouble. Only Oh, uh, that'll be the second team foul for the Lions. Kenzie's first. One thing I do notice is that these holiday tournaments, all teams have to have a, at least a five-day moratorium, so no practice. They can have a shoot-around, slight practice this morning, but a lot of girls' hands on their hips uh, looking like this pressure is affecting Ralston a little bit more than Nebraska City as they are a little more deep. And we have an and one. Kenzie Norris with the and one. Gets blocked by number 44, Alex Johnson. That'll be her second of the night, team's third. So Norris will, go, Norris will go to the line for her first free throw of the night. She approaches her free throws up and good. 19-5, lines up, 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Lions still showing a lot of pressure. Rams get it across again and up and good. Number 20. Samantha Cunningham's first bucket of the night, the 5'7 five, five, sophomore. Hands, or not hands, Avery Heilig will be fouled by number 10, Abby High, her first foul of the night, team's fourth. Norris will bring it out for the Lions. Norris gets it to Hands. Hands will look to set the offense. Heilig's three is up and good. Heilig, an extremely good three-point shooter for the Lions. She had 17 points. Rams have it in again. Fast break layup, and no good right at the buzzer. We are at 22-7 to seven at the end of the first quarter. Great first quarter by the Lions. Rams just couldn't handle that press, and it showed. Yeah, Lions uh, 
the press is just annihilating the Rams. They can't get anything going and creating a lot of turnovers so far. And I think that's what Coach Johnson's whole uh, scheme was going into this game. He really wants to stop uh, the Rams and keep them at a minimum, and he's doing exactly that. With uh, <coughs> talking to Coach Wally, uh, Johnson before the game, uh, the keys to the game, they were, they just really want to play four solid quarters, and they are off to a great start. If they put three more of those together, this is going to be a, a tough game for the Rams. I did compliment Ralston. They are a very scrappy team. They have an uh, unorthodox style of play with their five out. You, you'll notice they've got a three a few three-pointers off already today. Um, but they just really want to come together after this five-day break and see, put four quarters together. I'm very impressed with it what I've seen so yeah, far. Yeah, Camille Adler being the leading scorer for uh, the Rams so far with five points. And uh, she's going to have to be a bright spot for the Rams so far with the Southpaw look. She's uh, got a pretty smooth shot. So back at it, Heilig will inbound it to Hans, and Hans will dribble it around, gives it to Heilig across the court. Katz will set a ball screen across court to Norris. Norris looks to get in the Katz. Katz's layup is up. And no good, but she is fouled by number 44, Alex Johnson. Is that Alex's second foul? I believe third? so. I think that might be her third, maybe. We'll look to see what they put on the board here. That'll be Alex Johnson's third, so she's in a little bit of foul trouble here. Cats his free throws up and good. 23-7 lines up. 7.45 left in the second quarter. Alex Johnson will get subbed out. It is hard to see their numbers. Nevaeh Sanders in for Alex Johnson. That's a huge blow to the Rams, offense and defense. Already Alex has three fouls at the start of this second quarter. High Free throw was no good, but back to the Lions. Hands is mid-range. Jay is up and good. Lions. Her, first, her, her second bucket of the night. Lions have backed off their press now. Look like they are in a 1-3-1 one -one zone. Ball is tipped off of Katz and Norris will get the steal. She'll bring it on the court and transition. He'll, she'll Euro step for an extremely nice basket. She's scoring a lot for the Lions so far. 27-7, 7-15 left here in the second quarter. As Abby High brings the ball up the court, we have a back door. Sanders does a post move and gets it out to, nice shot. Number 20, Samantha Cunningham, the 5-7 sophomore. Ball get down to high league. Nine. Ball get down to high league in the corner. Hands dribbles it back down. Looks to distribute it. Gets it to Voda. Voda to Norris. High league looking open down in the corner. Swings it to hands down to high league. High league's three is up and no good off the back iron. Ralston will get the rebound. Great hustle there by Lexi Pascatch. Into the game for the first time. And Voda will get the steal for the Lions. Gives it out to, no to hands to high league. Heilig's pass is intercepted by number 42, Camille Adler. And another turnover by the Rams. Norris will get the steal. She'll dribble down the court, spin, gets the ball to Heilig. Pump fakes, gets it to Norris under the hoop for an extremely good look. Norris's basket is good. And a Very timeout by Louisville. Looks like a 30-second timeout by Coach Wally Johnson in his 24th year of coaching and 15th year coaching here at Louisville. Jeez. That's a long time. Coach Hahn is in his sixth year, and they have a new coach this year, Carrie All. I know she's happy to be on the, the coaching staff. Shout out to Carrie All. She's one of our <laughs> am best amazing subs here at Louisville. We couldn't have got to this point without her. We sure appreciate her, everything she does for us, coaching softball, coaches basketball, and one of our subs. 29-9 here, six minutes left in the second quarter. Lions up big and look to continue that. Maybe laying off a little bit. They take out. They took off their press, and but they're still getting turnovers as Coach Johnson wanted, and that'll keep them up big for the rest of the game. Camille Adler will throw it into Abby High. High will bring it up the court. The five-five senior. Lions are mixing up their defense. One three one two three. Not knowing what to expect. We have an. A uh, defensive foul here on number 13, Kalkowski got a little aggressive on the box out. She definitely got her money's worth there. Ball underneath to the Rams, High will take it out. 
Throws it in to pass catch who drives, stops, passes it back to Cunningham. Adler out, drives and draws the foul. It's gonna be Rams ball underneath. That'll be number, that'll be Gaston. Ga yeah, that'll be Gaston's first foul of the night. Team's fourth. So Another Sanigan inbound. Fouls inbound goes to Adler and she goes up and draws the foul. She'll be shooting two free throws. And that'll be on Jalen Gaston again. So her second, racking up the fouls here. Five team fouls for both teams. Not quite in the bonus yet, but we will be having this one for a shooting foul. First one's up and no good. Voda, Voda checks Voda in for the, the Lions. Game. Gaston will take a break, try to keep her out of foul trouble. She's a big scorer for the Lions so far. She is averaging, it appears to be. Second one is no good, rebounded by Voda. Anyway, Johnson gets the ball under the hoop. Shot is up and no good. Katz gets the rebound. Kicks it out to Voda to Leach. To Kalkowski. Kalkowski gets three is up and no good. And that'll be, no one gets the rebound. So the ball got out of bounds. Rams will take possession here. Sub coming in for the Rams. Mariah Hargrave, 5'5 junior. Checking into the game for Sanders. I know they're happy to have Kolkowski back. Yeah, they are. She was out for a few weeks. This is the first time in a while the Lions have been full strength. And they're showing how good they really are full strength. Great shot there by Paskic. Makes the game, the score 29 to 11. Leach brings the ball down the court and a haywire pass as it goes out of bounds. Intended for Cats, but no good. A little sloppy start to this second quarter by both teams. Lions are sitting pretty though with 18 point lead. Five minutes left here in the second quarter. Both teams with five fouls. Lions go into that two three zone and missed a wide open layup. Back to the Lions. Second lead to, second lead to bring it down the court. Up to Kalkowski. Kalkowski drives in, gets the bounce pass to Voda. Voda spins and her shot is no good. Lion, Rams will get the rebound with Camille Adler getting that. Adler averaging just under four points a game, brings it up the court. And they have trapped, oh, and another turnover by the Lions. Lions bring it on the court. Katz shoots and she is fouled. That foul will be on number. I do believe it was Camille Adler. Yeah, number, number 42. 42. That'll be her second, team sixth. So one more and the Lions will be in a one on one situation here. Katz approaches her free throws. Free throws up and no good. I believe she is 0 for 2 on the night so far. Four and a half left to go in this second quarter. 29 to 11 is our score. Katz approaches her second free throw. It's up and good. She's one for three from the line so far. 30-11. Lions up big. Shout out left. to our refs tonight. Ken, Jack, and Brent. We thank you for refing our game this evening. You're doing a great job. Adler for three in the corner. No good. Rebounded by Kalkowski. Kalkowski will bring the ball down the court. Johnson waving her hands, but Voda will take that one and she will travel, even though the shot was good. Got a little excited there. Wide open layup, moved her, took too many steps. That does happen sometimes. Nevaeh Sanders back into the game for Adler. 420 left here in the second quarter. The ball goes off high's feet, but no worries, she'll get it back. Still good, back over to Sanders. Sorry, that's Paskic, who's Passes it off to high. Now there's Sanders, and no good. Gets blocked by Ella Johnson. Gives it off to Leach. Leach will bring it down the court for the Lions. Bounce pass to Kalkowski. She fumbles it. Gets it into Johnson under the post, and her mid-range J is good. 32-11, 3.50 left here in the half. Next dead ball, three Lions will be coming in. High is bringing the ball down the court. Still, line still in that 2-3 zone. Ella Johnson picks off another pass. Johnson shows how long those arms are and she just picks that pass off out of midair. And Voda will be fouled. So she'll go to the line for a one and one. We've reached our one and one bonus and subs will be coming in. That'll be number 23, Avery Heilig. Number three, Kenzie Norris. Number 21, Lexi Hands. Leach, Kalkowski, and Katz all take a break. A well-deserved break. Voda approaches her free throws. First one is up and...
No good. So she won't get her second shot. Rebounded by Sanders and off to high again. Again, three fouls by Alex Johnson. You can tell is hurting the, the Rams right now, but they're working it around. Passes it off. Oh, and we have a travel. Lots of turnovers by the Rams tonight. I'm not sure how many that is. But yeah, that's uh, one of the keys to the game while these girls are getting it done. Lots of turnovers. Hands will bring it on the court. It kicks it to Norris. Hands cross court pass to Heilig. Heilig pump fakes, draws a lot of people over to her. She drives, Euro steps around, and her layup is good. 34 to 11, home team Lions are up over the Ralston Rams. Again, records are four and four for the Lions, 0 and five for the Rams. Ralston brings it in, another miss, rebounded by Voda. Hands up court pass to Johnson. And the ball is stuck. We call that a wedgie in basketball. <laughs> the ball is stuck between the backboard and the rim. I learned that as a kid and never forgot it. We have our first wedgie of the night. A wedgie. wedgie. I've never heard that. Ball is off to the Rams. We hope to leave you smiling tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. We know that uh, our crowd is... Um, Household only and some grandparents, anybody else that's tuning in, we'd love to give a special shout out. If our favorite lion is listening, who do we have, Gage? Who do we want to give a shout out to? Uh, the freshman, Hayden McAtee, is one of the biggest fans so far for the Lions. Tunes in every night. If you went to any of our football games, he was the mascot. So he did a great job with that. We'll get back to the game now as Abby High gets a shot and is fouled. She, no good, but she'll go to the line for two. That'll be the second personal foul for number three, senior Kenzie Norris. 34-11 lines up, two and a half minutes left here in the half. Highest first free throws up and good. Rolls around and drops in. Abby's first point of the night. She'll go for her second one. And it and is good. It is good. We have a sub, Sagan Leach checking in. Kenzie Norris will take a well-earned break. He's been playing really hard tonight. Voto inbounded for the Lions, gives it to Leach. She'll bring it down the court. Leach looks around. High leg runs baseline. Voto doing some work. Gets it to hands on three-point line. Back to Leach. Leach gets it into Johnson. Johnson spins and she is, ball's tipped. And it'll be out on the Lions. Ball back to the Rams. Cunningham passes it into high and she walks it up the court. Lines back to that 1-3-1 one, one zone. Maybe Not maybe trying something new out and the ref is drilled by the ball. Uh, but maybe trying something out here big and seeing how it works in a game because they probably do it at practice a little bit so they're trying how, trying it out in a game here. Heilig anyways pumps it, fakes, jump stop. Ooh. Maybe gets away with an extra step there. Hands, looks around, gets at the leech in the corner to Johnson. Johnson will jump. Layup is up and good, 36-13 Lions. 145 left here in the second corner. Lions in the bonus. High dribbles all the way down for a lip, gets blocked by Johnson. Johnson steps on line back to the Rams. High takes it out of bounds. We have a minute and a half left to go in this first half. Johnson showing her, showing those long arms off with getting that easy block for her. Another tip. Back to the Rams and the baseline. Lions playing a pretty co pretty clean game so far. Not a whole lot of turnovers, but they're enforcing their game plan and getting the Rams to commit a lot of turnovers, and Voda gets a tip there. And as the jump ball, ball goes to the Lions, as aggressive as they are, it's probably nice to only have six fouls as a team. Yeah, it is. Only a couple jump balls. Lions will get this one, though. Voda in about to the Leach. Leach will bring it on the court with 130 left. Line dig. Looks back to Leach. Leach gets it to Hands. Hands dribbles around the corner. Leach's three is up and no good. Almost at the bank. Rebounded by Cunningham, who oh turns it over. Another turnover by Hands. Ella Johnson will get the steal, bringing it down the court for the Lions. High leg drives. Lots of dribble drives for Lions tonight. Hands is two is up and no good air ball. But Leach will get the rebound, puts it up, and she is fouled by number. That's number 20, Cunningham. That'll be her first night, team's eighth. So Sagan will go to the line for two. Because a shooting foul. 
Kolsky will, will be coming in after this first one. Lee three throws up and no good, good for Lexi Hands. And another sub, Katz coming in for freshman Ella Johnson. Second shot here for Sagan. One minute left to go. 36-13 is our score. Lions not shooting too hot so far tonight. Sagan's second shot is up and no good. Up for two from the line so far. But Katz will work hard for that offensive rebound. Gets the post entry to Voda. Voda swatted. Great block there by Nevea Sanders. 50 seconds left to go. Ball swinging around by the Rams. Get it over to High who shoots the three from the corner and no good off the rim. Rebound to the Lions. High will go bring the ball up to court. Leads Katz. Katz's layup is good. 38-13, 35 seconds left here in the second quarter. Lexi Pascatch brings the ball up to court as, as the guard tipped around by Katz, who's trapped and throws it away. Oh, Rams get it back. And Voda gets a tip. But, but it lands in a Rams hand. Nevaeh Sanders gets a point and a layup for, to make it a 38-15 game. 13 seconds left to go. Avery Heilig dribbles in wide open. Gets it cross court to Leah, and she is swatted, but she's also fouled in the process by Nevaeh Sanders. That'll be her. I believe that will be her first personal of the night, team's ninth. Kalkowski will go to the line for one on one. Never mind, it'll be two shots guaranteed. Her first free throw misses. And whoever gets the rebound here will have 6.8 seconds to work with. Her second free throw is up and good. Rams will take it out of bounds. No subs. Ref's hand is up. Clock will start, and he drops it. And there it goes. Abby High, five seconds left. Three into the corner. And it's good. Brooke Tayrall nails a three to make it a 39-18 game at the half. Lions executing their game plan extremely well so far, causing turnovers, uh, working hard on the boards, and executing their dribble drive that they have every game extremely well. So if they uh, want to keep this huge lead, they're going to have to keep doing what they're doing. Don't go too far. We'll, we'll be back here with about five minutes left in the at half.
thing we've really been working on with him is responding when things don't go well. You know, in the past, he's, he's kind of put his head down or had some bad body language, but he's really, as a senior, he's come back um, and done great, great for us. That way, when guys look to him, they see, they see positive, positivity instead of negativity, yep. and that's really helped us this year. All righty, Coach, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for your time, and good luck tonight. Awesome. Thanks, Gage. Yep. Everyone tuning in at home, it's 39-18. Lions up big, starting the second half here. As I'm joined with Coach Mathis after our interview with Coach Vote, And to start off early, Lauren Vote will take charge for the Lions. And the foul will be on number 12, Brooke Tayrall. That will be her first personal. Hands bring it on the court for the Lions. She skins the offense over. Gets Kenzie Norris wide open in the – at the wing, she dribbles around, gets the hands in the corner. She's open but doesn't want to shoot. Back to Norris, back to Hands. Hands is three, is up and no good. Off the back iron. But then Katz will get the steal. Cross court to Heilig. Heilig will look to drive around, spin move. Layup is up and no good. As the Rams get the rebound, come up the court, just a quick review of that first half. High had two points, Tayrell had three. And we'll keep going after this next possession here. Norris bring the ball down the court for the Lions. Huge score for the Lions so far. Shira steps around uh, Johnson. She'll get her points. That'll be Mackenzie Norris's ninth point of the night. So she's on a roll so far, being the second leading score for the Lions. High brings it back up. Another pass off to Sanders, who gets it up and no good. Sanders had two points in the first half. Hands will bring it down the court for the Lions after Vota gets the rebound. Hands looks to, looks to pass it off. Vota standing in the post, gives the dribble hand off to Heilig. Heilig jump stops, kicks it out to Norris. Norris's three is up and no good off the back iron. 6.30 left here, 41-18 lines up. Johnson gets the rebound for the Rams. Leading scorer for the Rams in that first half was Camille Adler with five. High dribbles in, thought she got fouled, but no good. Back Heilig to the Lions. Heilig will get the rebound. She dribbles it up the court. Slows down, gives it to, Nor gives it to Norris. To Vota. Vota kicks it out to Hands. Hands wide open for the two, and it is no good. Rams will get the rebound, but Norris gets a steal. Euro steps around Johnson and gets the and one. Oh, no, that's big for the Rams. That's Alex Johnson's fourth foul. That hurts the Rams a lot because she is one of their biggest players so far and on the season, so that's going to hurt. To They're going to have to pull her here. And I don't know if that – I think it was on her. Seems to be some confusion on the court. Anyways, Norris will go to the line for two. And they're going to leave Johnson in the game. That's Norris' second and one of the night. Misses the free throw, so can't convert on that. And Voto will foul Nevaeh Sanders. So that will be the team's first of the half. And that will be Voda's first personal foul. So none. no foul trouble for the line so far. Two, min two minutes into this third quarter high. Dribbles in quick and gets a foul. She's going to be shooting two. Coach Johnson trying to flee pace over there on the sideline, but I don't think the refs are going to have it. The Rams are only averaging 21.6 points per game, um, so I'm, I'm sure they're pleased to get 18 in that first half. Yeah. So they may be playing a little better this game than they have in the past. First one up by high is no good, just off the front iron. Second one here shortly with 5.59 left to go in this third quarter. High second free throw as she approaches. Will be up and good after it bounces around. Hands bring it on the court for the Lions. Senior gets her third point of the night for Abby High. Hands gets it to Norris. Norris looks around. She's heavily face guarded. Vota sets a good screen. Over to Katz. To Hands. Hands looks to dribble in. Is up and no good. 
but Heilig gets offensive rebound and puts it back, back up for two. That'll be Avery Heilig's teeth point of the night. So she's the leading score for the Lions. Great rebounding position there by the Lions as Alex Johnson was clearly trying to stay out of the foul trouble with four. Staying in the game, no good for a three. Ball's back to the Lions not showing any more pressure, it appears, tonight. Even without their pressure, they were still able to force quite a few turnovers yeah. in that second quarter. Maybe giving the Rams a little bit of a different look with that zone. They've mixed it up with a couple different types of zones. But anyways, Nor Voda will get the ball at the top of the key, gets it to Hands. Hands looks to dribble around, gets it to Katz with five minutes left here in the third quarter. Looks like the Rams oh. are in a uh, box and one defense on Avery Heilig. That is a true testament to the scoring abilities of Avery. Yeah. They've put Abby High on her full time. Four Lions checking into the game. Avery Heilig is uh, averaging, it appears. I can't find the stat. Almost 13 points oh, a yeah. game if I. Another right. three by Adler in the corner and rebounded by Ella Johnson. They'll bring the ball up to court. Ella Johnson getting a lot of boards for the Lions so far tonight. As she brings it up to court. Gets it to Johnson. Gives it to Leach. Leach drives baseline. Kicks it out to Kalkowski. Back to hands on the three-point line. Gets it to Johnson. Johnson looks to drive. Kicks it out to Kalkowski. Her shot is no good. Gaston gets the ball. Gives it to Leach with a good position. Ball fumbles around, and the ball will be out on Gaston. So Rams will take possession with 420 left here in the third quarter, 45-18. Abby High, 5'5", five five senior for the Ralston. Just plays really hard. She's gotten several tips and, and hustle plays tonight. Still playing hard despite the score. The games uh, tomorrow, it appears, have been moved. Just recently, they've been moved to Wednesday at 2 o'clock and no breaks. Like, they had an hour break today. So the games will be tomorrow. Back er. to the game. Abby High got a steal and hustles down the court and gets fouled. She'll go to the line for two. Yep. Fouls on Lexi Hands. That'll be Lexi Hands' first of the night. Team's third of the half. Alex Johnson staying in the game amid her uh, four fouls because they need her, and she's huge. And if she fouls out, that's going to be a huge problem for the Rams. So Camille Adler will have to pick up. But Camille Adler seems to be one of the uh, bright spots for the Rams so far. Samantha Cunningham checks in for Alex Johnson, gives Alex a break with those four fouls. The other night, Gage, we had a little bit of trouble with the math. What is the, the differential tonight? 45-19. Uh, told it me is. to put you on the spot. It is indeed uh, 26 points. Very math good. is hard. Very good. Leach drives in, and she's fouled on the side shot, so she will go to the line for two. And the foul is on number 30, Nevaeh Sanders. That'll be her second, team's third. Leach will go to the line for two. Three team fouls by each team. 3.46 left in this third quarter. First one is no free throw. We'll uh, hit the rim and roll out. 45-19, 3.46 left here in the third quarter. Leach's fourth free throw is up and no good. Rebound Lion. by Sanders. Lions not looking too hot from the free throw line tonight, which will probably, which could be a product of the moratorium break. And Ball is out of bounds, back to the lines. If we get Coach Johnson in for an interview, I wonder if he'll mention that his free throw shooting tonight for his interview. Yeah. Leach will bring it up to court, cross court pass to Kalkowski. Kalkowski gets to Gaston on the block and her mid range jumpers up and good. 47 19. 3.20 left here in the third quarter. That is something Coach Johnson might be disappointed with, but he won't be disappointed with how many turnovers his team has got tonight. Rams no. have the ball back. Lexi Hands gets another tip. Hustle play. Ball's knocked into the backcourt. Abby High gets it, brings it back up. That's some and great. A foul. That is some great hustle. Even though they're big, they're playing like it is still 0-0, as a lot of coaches refer to in sports. And they're still showing a ton of hustle. We had a foul on Leah Kalkowski. Her second foul, teams fourth. That'll be uh, over and back, it appears. You don't see that too often. Couple no, especially in that position. Yeah. Couple new Rams check into the game. Number 12, Brooke Tayroll and 
number 22, Mariah Hargrave. Anyways, Le Leach will bring it up the court for the Lions. Kolkowski dribbles into the corner back to Leach. Leach gets it to the short corner to Gaston. To Johnson, her layup is good. That will be Ella Johnson's 10th point of the night, I believe. So she's on a roll so far. She's the second leading scorer. Lexi pass catch takes it, takes it up the court. And another over and wow. back. Two over and backs in the same spot. Back wow. to the Lions. Couple of brand new Lions check into the game. The sophomore number 25, McKenna McCauley, and the senior number 15, Sophie Kortowski, and another senior number 45, Aaron Stolman. So they're getting get some quality minutes here in the third quarter. Kortowski in the corner, gives it to McCauley, back to Kortowski, to Gaston, to Kortowski. Her three is up and good! What a great moment for Kortowski. Great shot, corner three. I was talking to Coach Johnson about his senior girls. Um, great group of senior girls, and he's just really proud, and it's great to see these girls in the game. Yep. And a three by Sophie there. Shot is up and good for the Rams. Mariah, Mariah Hargrave, her first points. Anyways, Kalkowski takes a three and it's good. Mighty the umbrella folks, it's raining threes. It is 55 to 21, 145 left to go in this third quarter. Two threes in a row by the Lions. Brooke Tayroll brings it up the court. Passes it off and another turnover. Gaston on the fast break. Dunk it. She does not dunk we it. We were calling for a dunk, but we got an easy layup. Always smarter to go with the layup there, Gage. Yeah, there's no style points, unfortunately. Two is two. Rams have it back. Adler spins, turns it over. Kortowski with, with the steal. Gives it to Kolkowski. And it is kicked. And so the Rams will take possession since it was off the Lions. Kolkowski does a lot of activities here at Louisville, but yeah. we don't offer soccer, unfortunately. No. We almost did, but we didn't. Great hustle regardless. Rams have the ball back. Crossover dribble by Tayrall. Over to Cunningham. Adler has it up top. Ball fake. Dribble drive. Left-hander. And that'll be a foul. And a foul. That'll be a push on number... 15, Sophie Kortowski, her first, team's fifth of the night. Rams ball underneath, throws it into Adler. Oh, it's knocked around and stole by Gaston, Gaston again. Will, Gaston will get the steal, she brings it down the court in transition, layups up and no good, but McCauley goes up with offensive rebound and misses, but she is fouled, so she'll go to the line for two. Fouls on number 20, Samantha Cunningham, her second personal, team's fourth. McCauley goes to the line for two here. First free throws up and good. So her first points of the night off the bench. I and talked to both coaches about what it's like to coach during a COVID season. You'll notice Ralston, they all wear masks, players on the court and off, and coaches. Mm -hmm. um, and our girls, Lions, do not wear masks, and that is up to the teams. Um, but they both just stress the importance of being flexible during this season. Yes. And it is, I think, a little harder for the players because there's no fans or, especially when you're shooting free throws, it's dead quiet because usually you have those rowdy student sections making a whole bunch of noise. So it's a little different for the players too for a lot of different reasons. Another turnover by the Rams. And Lions Gaston gets the, the steal. Ball. Kalkowski brings it up the court. Kicks it up to Gaston. In the corner, McCauley. McCauley looks around, post entry to Gaston. Gets it across the court to Kortowski. That's a tongue twister. Back to Gaston, Gaston brings it in. Layup is up and no good, but she gets her own rebound. Oh. And she's looking for the foul, but she does not get it. I thought she'd get rewarded for her three steals, but she gets up, hustles back down, Rams ball. And 20 is open, Samantha Cunningham right at the buzzer, gets it. Two and quarters in a row, we have a, a, a last beater. second shot. And it appears that all the starters for the Lions will be uh, Checking back in, 58-23 here at the end of the third quarter. Lions up huge. Leading scores for the Lions, uh, Avery Heilig with 11, but I think it might. I think it's more than that. 
Mackenzie Norris and Ella Johnson, three leading scorers for the Lions, and then Camille Adler being the leading scorer for the Rams with five points. Alex Johnson in a little bit of foul trouble for the Rams, so she has a, a spot on the bench. They'll probably bring her out here in the fourth quarter. So they want to shorten up this lead. Another key that Coach Johnson talked about uh, during a COVID season, you have to be deep uh, and you have to be talented at yeah. across your bench, and I feel like the Lions have proven that how deep they are uh, yeah. being back full strength. A lot of players contributing tonight. They can bring almost uh, eight or nine girls off the bench every night, and all of them are ready, especially Leo Kalkowski is out there for a, a couple weeks with COVID, and she uh, having her back now is huge. Uh, she was one of the first people off the bench for the Lions. So here she is being a huge contributor for the Lions so far. Starters are back in for both teams, it looks like. Lions ball, start of the fourth quarter. Gage, it's a pleasure being on the broadcast with you tonight. You too, Mr. Mathis. Anyways, hands will bring it up to court for the Lions, back to High League since starters are back in. High League dribbles, drives. Mid-range J is up and no good off the back iron. I like her ability to create her own shot. She does a fantastic job, and it makes yeah. sense why they had a boxing one on her earlier on in the game. Rams yep. ball, corner three is no good. Air ball to Cats. Cats gets the rebound, push it up to the court to High League. She's going to get a wide open layup. Oh, she is contested, and she's fouled. Fouled by Abby High. Uh, helps Avery off the court. Love to see that sportsmanship. That'll be Abby High's second, team's fifth. 58-23, 7.30 left here in the fourth quarter. Lines up huge. High League's first free throw is up and good. 59 for the Lions. Lions shown a ton of bright spots tonight. And High League a consistent free throw shooter. She makes her second. Good to see free throw shooting improve here in this second half. Yep. High brings it up the court for the Rams. Pumps another... Blocking foul, I do believe that's going to be on Mackenzie Norris, number three. Rams ball underneath. That'll be Mackenzie Norris's third foul of the night. So still no foul trouble for the Lions. Nevea Sanders gets the ball, gives it to Johnson, which is back in the game. Johnson back in the game, no good no on good. her layup, but a rebound, and it, that is good by Nevea Sanders. Hands bring it up the court for the Lions. 60-25, lines up big still. Seven minutes left here. Norris in the wing with the ball, looking to get around. Dribble drive, great step. The left hand layup is good. Lots of impressive moves by Norris tonight. She's been a huge, huge contributor for the Lions. And now the Lions are showing that 1-3-1 again. I do believe that's something they're trying to, to incorporate into their defensive scheme. I think it's important for people if they want to make a deep run towards the uh, uh, district finals at Evan State, if they want to uh, be successful, they need to uh, have a whole bunch of different looks, defenses, offensive, sideline plays, baseline plays. We have a so quick pause in the action as uh, Johnson uh, adjusts her knee brace, I do believe. Those things All are right, kind of a we're hassle. ready to go. Speaking of injuries, Gage, you had a tough one if down at Fall City. Will you update our viewers? How, how's your arm doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm out of physical therapy, feeling great. And uh, the only restriction is I have to wear, unfortunately, one of those arm braces next year. So it'll be your turn with one of them stingy braces. Yeah. All right, back to the game, Rams ball. Into the key is Sanders, passes it out to high, no good. Adler with the rebound. Dribbles it out, Sanders again down the lane, and no good. Gets her own rebound, tips around. Oh, we both said oh at the same time. It was a tough fall by Sanders, but Lions ball, no call. Oh, get in there. And an impressive finish by Norris again. She has made some very extremely impressive plays tonight. That might be my vote of play of the game as Katz gets in. Oh, I thought she was going to get another steal, but she got called for the reach-in foul. Cunningham into the game for the Rams. 64-25, lines up huge. 6.05 left here in the game. Adler will go to the line as the Lions are in the bonus with seven team fouls. One and one for Adler. It's pretty crazy how you can go from when they played Weeping Water, they didn't even surpass 30 points, but here they're destined to 
Oh, bad voice crack. Destined to put up uh, 70 points. So that's, I feel like that's kind of crazy. Anyways, Hans brings it up the court for the Lions. Not to high league. They're going to need as many points as they can get as they face a tough BRLD team yeah. on Wednesday. Yep. Hopefully they're shooting just as well, and their defensive pressure brings it again. Rams have the ball corner. Tayrall in the corner. Tipped by Hands. Great hustle still, even though they're a way up. Ball is to Sanders. She's getting a lot of rebounds tonight. Nevaeh Sanders puts it in for two. 64-27 with 5.30 left to go in the fourth quarter. Cats wide open. Gets the easy, easy bunny, as Coach Roth would like to call it. 66-27, 5.20 left here in the fourth quarter. Those coaches enjoy those easy bunnies, especially if you make them. Yep. Another turnover. Voda with the steal, and I don't think she'll slam it down. But she'll get the easy layup. And we have a timeout coming up. It's We call this a substitution timeout. We, you get counted for a timeout, but we just want to get players into the game. Yep. Stay, stay in the action here. Another couple players in for the Rams and Lions. Get as many people in in the action as possible. Gaston, Leach, Kalkowski, and Johnson all check in. Avery Halleck being the only starter that will stay out there to lead the crew. Avery Halleck being the leading scorer so far tonight. Lions up big with five minutes left here in the game. High brings it up the court. Lions still in that 1-3-1. Lion, or Rams looking to shoot as they are down big. Shot in and out. No good. Kalkowski get the rebound up to Heilig. Heilig wanted to get it to Ella Johnson, but the pass was not there to lead Chin to gas and Chillick to do some work. Left-handed layup is up and no good as she fights for the rebound. As she, as Ralston Rams is getting trapped on the baseline. Lions cannot get the ball back. Escaped one there as a high gets the ball. Says, all right, let's take our time. Dribble it up. Run our offense for three. Got it. Abby Hyde's rewarded with her hustle, gets a three. Leach will bring it down the court for the Lions, as she has most of the night. Gets it into Johnson. Her spin and jumper is no good, but Kalkowski will get the offensive rebound. Out to Heilig. Heilig looks to drive. Dumps it off to Johnson for the easy layup, and it is good. 70 points for the Lions tonight. Halfway through our fourth quarter, 70 to 30. Lions up big. Avery had a nice drive there and dish to Ella. Very impressed with her game tonight. I believe these two teams uh, faced up last year in the holiday tournament in Nebraska City, and the Lions won that one also. So the Lions have a good record as there's a travel called on Sagan Leach. And She's McKenna McCall will check into the game for the Lions. Heil will take a break, and she probably won't come off for the rest of the night as all the starters have taken a seat for the Lions. Cunningham throws it in. Leach will get the steal. Richie and it's another turnover. Leach will bring it up the court to Gaston for the easy layup. And she misses. Should have dunked it. Rebound back to the Rams. We'll have to give Gaston a hard time about that one. We usually do give her a hard time. Ball gets in and Ella Johnson will get the jump ball. and. And I'll say Rams ball as we have achieved a running clock. I think, yeah, we've achieved a running clock. Stolman and Kortowski checking in the game for the Lions. 2.45 and counting left here in the fourth quarter. 70-30 Lions up. Big. Abby High throws it in, passes it around. Hargrave has the ball and passes it off to pass sketch. Who misses it? Back Johnson. to the Lions. Johnson with another rebound. Gets it to Leach, and Leach is fouled. Fouls on number 10, Abby High. That'll be her third personal, team sixth. So Lions still not in the bonus quite yet. Tayrell checks in for High. High has a great game tonight. Hustles, had that corner three just a few minutes ago. Johnson gets the layup, and it's no good. Rams will get the rebound. Two minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Now that High's out of the game, Lexi Paskic is now your, your point guard bringing it up the court. Lions drop back in that 2-3 zone and still get another turnover. Kortowski brings the ball up the court, finds Johnson. Johnson's left end of the layup is no good. But Kortowski will work down low and she gets the rebound, so that'll be a jump ball another going the jump Lions' ball way. Another jump ball staying here this time. Great hustle shown by both teams, even though the 
the uh, difference in score is so great. Still have that running clock. Now it's down to 130 here in our fourth quarter. Stolen puts a shot up, but it's blocked. McCauley gets the offensive rebound. Gets it to Leach. Leach is three is up and good. 73-30 lines up. 120 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's what I'm looking for in this last few seconds. Can the Rams get a third last second shot three quarters in a row? That would be impressive. Will it happen? Oh, we still have a little time there. I thought the Rams got fouled there. No call. Refs have done a fantastic job. I should never question them. There's a foul. Yep. Yeah, refs have been extremely good tonight. And Ella Johnson will go to the line for two. Number 14, uh, Lexi Paskic. Johnson goes to the line for free throws here. It's 40 seconds left. Her first free throw is up and good. Looks like the Rams are going to have one more possession. Chance to have one more last second shot. Johnson's second free throw. As she approaches with 30 seconds left is up and... No good, but McCauley will get the offensive rebound. Gets it to Kortowski, and Kortowski just overshoots Johnson by a little bit. 20 seconds to go. That would be crazy if they got a... Paskic brings it up the court. That's what I'm rooting for in these last 15 seconds. We're down to 12. Passes it around. Tayrol, crossover dribble. Another crossover dribble on Sagan Leach. Six Five seconds. seconds. Paskic. For two. Oh. oh, we had our shot. Another oh. one. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Three they got quarters it. in a row. <laughs> Dylan Ritchie gets a two-pointer at the end of the buzzer. But regardless, final score, 74-32. Thank you for joining us. Uh, during the boys' game, we'll have Coach Johnson and possibly a player of the game stop up for an interview. Gage, great job tonight. Taught me a lot as my first time uh, doing this. I really enjoyed it. Yep. And uh, great game by the Lions. Yeah. Don't go too far. Uh, followers at home will join you, or we'll come back with about five minutes left to the boys' game. Lions versus Ralston Rams coming up.
Uh, so here we are with the player of the girls game, Kenzie Norris. Uh, great game today. What are your thoughts on the game, Kenzie? Um, I think we played really good today. Uh, coming off of a break, uh, we worked hard, and yeah. Uh, what's it? What's like the culture that Coach Johnson like? What's it like playing for Coach Johnson? Um, it's really all about like our team is one family and working hard. Everyone is we're all on one team and pushing each other to get better every day. And he always makes sure that we're working hard. Yeah. So I know you guys did like a. Like around the family thing, I know you guys did like a secret teammate or like secret Santa, I guess. Uh, who did you have and uh, who had you and like what did you guys get each other? Um, I had Jalen and we all get each other like fun little like gifts. Like we write down what we like and then we just get what each other likes, like candy and pop and stuff. Nice. Uh, what's it like? Like what's it like playing during? the COVID era, I guess? Um, it's kind of weird, but it's nice because we don't have to wear masks, masks, so it's easy to breathe, and so it's not too bad. Okay, and last question. What's any advice you have to, like, a, a young person listening on the broadcast, and how do they get to where you are today? Um, I would say just work hard and always push yourself and your teammates to get better and take every opportunity you can to get better and always do your best. All right, that's all I have for you. Thank you, and good game today. Thank you. Alrighty, here we are, second game of the night and final game of the night. Matchup between the 6-2 and two Louisville Lions and the Ralston Rams visiting for the holiday tournament. Uh, tonight on the second game, I am joined by a fellow junior uh, at Louisville High School, Ian Hefner. First game we had the elementary principal, Shane Mathis, but here I'm joined with the one of my fellow classmates, Ian Hefner. Uh, Last game for the Lions, it was a 67-36 win over Malcolm at Malcolm before they hit the five-day moratorium. And uh, Ralston having a few bright spots this year uh, with a record of one and four. I think one of their wins is over Nebraska City, so their only win, I guess. 
And so they'll be looking to uh, collect another win here. They've played some pretty solid teams, though, like Beatrice and uh, Falls City, some very good basketball teams. So tonight they'll be looking to collect a win in the holiday tournament over the Louisville Lions. Tomorrow, uh, Ralston will face Nebraska City. Both the boys and the girls of Ralston will play Nebraska City, and Louisville will play Burrell D, which is predetermined. Or I guess not tomorrow. It'll be Wednesday at 2 o'clock, I believe. Starters for the Lions tonight, a senior, a 5'8 senior, Talon Ball, a 5'11 junior, Sam All, a 6'0 junior, Eric Hurd, a 6'0 junior, Harrison Klein, and the highlight of the Lions offense, a 6'3 senior, Caleb Rabick. The starters for the Ralston Rams, number 10, Joey McAvoy, a 6'1 senior, number 11, Josh Kyler, a 6'2 senior, Davian Long, a 5'9 senior, number 12. Number 14, Cody Turkelson, a 6'2 senior. And number 33, Alex Stripemeyer, number, number 33, a 5'11 senior. Lions, a, a huge highlight in their offense is the senior, Caleb Rabick, like Coach Vogt said at the halftime of the girls game when we interviewed him. He's uh, the highlight and the leader and leads the, leads the Lions in scoring so far this year with... Uh, I believe it doesn't say points per game, but he is the leading scorer so far. I know he averages a double-double at least. And Coach Vogt says if they want to win, the whole team has to rally, rally around Caleb and really get him going on the boards and under the hoop. They need to get him dribble drive looks. And anything they can get him is valuable points. Second leading scorer is Sam All, the junior. So... Should be a good matchup tonight in the last game of the first round of the holiday tournament between the Ralston, visiting Ralston Rams and the home Louisville Lions hosting Caleb Rabick and number 14, Cody Turkelson tipping off for the Rams and Lions. Strip matter gets the, gets the tip. Number 10, McAvoy. Harry. Ralston Rams with their first points of the night. Seem Cody to Turkelson. They're showing some sort of press. Hurdle drive in, finds Rabick, and he gets tipped at the hoop. So the hoop will fall out. So McAvoy dribbles up, pushes. Kyle goes to the rim. Rebound by Rabick. 2-0 Rams with 7.20 left here in the first quarter. All bring it down the court. Gives it to Ball. Ball dribbles up top. Ball screen from Rabick. He drives in. Gets heard traveling on the baseline. Passes it out to Rabick to all for three. Three is up and good. Lions with the lead. 3-2, seven minutes left in the first quarter. Lions showing a 1-2-2 press. Kaiser dribbles the balls up. Turkelson with the ball, passes it. And Sam Hall will get the rebound. His he drives it down the court and he is fouled by number 12. Davian Long. Davian Long, his first team's first of the night. All inbound the ball. Or, I mean, Eric Hurdle inbound the ball. He gives it the ball. Ball dribbles on the court. Gives it to all. He looks to drive. Guarded heavily by Joey McAvoy. Gives it the ball. Ball over to Hurd. Hurd gets that dribble drive. Pump fakes. Gets it to All. He'll try to look to reset the offense. All drives in on Joey, and he gets the layup, but he misses too hard off the Strip backboard. Matter with the rebound. Strip Matter brings the ball up. Long. McAvoy. Back to Strip Matter. Reverse layup. No good. David Long. Klein will tip the ball back into All. He'll bring the ball down the court with some pace. Gives it to Ball. Ball dribbles up top. Back to All in the corner. He drives, gives it to Rabick. He does some work and he gets the ball in. 5-2 Lions, six minutes left in the first quarter. McAvoy driven the ball up. Passes to Strip Matter. McAvoy not quite across half court. Strip Matter across. David Long with the ball in the corner. Strip Matter on top. Back to McAvoy. McAvoy setting up an offense. That'll be a travel turnover for the Rams. The offense has obviously ran through Joey McAvoy. 
he averages 10 points a game. Yep. And for the Lions, the freshman, number 20, Sam Llewellyn, and the senior, number 34, Braden Powell. That's Talon Ball, and Harrison Klein will take a break. Rams showing a 1-2-2 press, kind of like the Lions are showing at first. All brings it up, gives it to Powell. Powell gives it to Hurd to Rabick. Rabick jump stop. Hook is up and good. 7-2 Lions, five minutes left here in the first quarter. Strip matter. Gets a trap. Kyles are draws the foul. Fouls on number 24, Eric Hurd, his first personal foul. Yeah. Harrison Klein will check in for the Lions, give Eric Hurd a break. Eric Hurd with his per first personal foul on the night. Five minutes left here in the, five of five left here in the first quarter. Shot is up and no good. Klein will get the rebound. He gives it all. He'll bring it on the court. He guarded heavily by Davian Long. Brings it up. Gets it to Klein. Klein looks like to give it to someone else. All dribbling in the corner. Gets up to Luell and talented freshman up top. To all. He drives. Looking for that dribble drive that's worked so well for the Lions so far this year. All in the short corner. He gives it to Llewellyn as he drives. Layup is up and good. Llewellyn's first points of the night. 9-2, lines up. 4.20 left here in the first quarter. Toberson cross-court pass to McAvoy. McAvoy drives on Caleb Ravick. Turkelson to himself. No good. All get the rebound. He pushes it up court to Llewellyn. He'll slow it down. Guarded heavily. Gives it to All. All drives in. And he is fouled hard by number number 14, number 14 Cody Turkelson. Cody Turkelson. That'll be his first. Team second. All go to the line for two. Lions a very strong free throw shooting team. Only missing one. The last time they were home against Brownell Talbot. But Sam Almas is one here. Four minutes left. 9-2 Lions. Cordell Moxie checks in for Caleb Rabick. So he gets his first minutes of the game. And Talon Ball would go to the scorer's table. All sinks the second free throw. And Ball check in, check in for him. Lions still showing that 1 2 2 zone press. Joey McAvoy gives it back to Kyle McAvoy kicks it to the corner. Back up top. Long, high post. Turkelson, pull up jumper, no good. Brayden Powell get the rebound. Gives us the ball as he pushes the ball down the court for, for some good pace here. Llewellyn dribbles around, looks to drive in, gets it in, kicks it out to Powell. Powell across the wing to Klein. Ball's tipped out, back to Powell. Powell looks to drive in. Shot is up and no good. Rams will get the rebound, 10-2, 3-15 three, three left in the first quarter. Strip matter with the ball. Turkelson. Going through the lane, layup's good. Ball bring the ball up for the Lions. To Klein, back to Ball, back to Klein, back to Ball. Back to Klein, back to Ball. Ball is almost intercepted, McAvoy. gets it to Powell. Back to Ball, Ball pump fakes. Gets it to Llewellyn. Llewellyn to Klein. Klein kicks it out on a quick pass to Powell. Powell to Moxie. Moxie makes it two. His first points of the night. Cody Turkelson kicks it to Joey McAvoy. Guarded by Cordell Moxie. Gets the lane. Kowser with a three, buries it. 12-7, lines up. 2.23 left here in the first quarter. And Llewellyn is fouled. That's the second time Joey McAvoy's gambled on that type of pass. Picks up the foul that time. That'll be his first. Team's third. 
Yeah, Joey's first team's third. 2.15 left here in the first quarter. Ray will inbound it as he checks back in. I'll bring the ball to court. Jeff Evans checks in for the Rams. Raybick back to All. All gives it the ball. To Raybick. Raybick gets it down to Moxie. Moxie's layup misses. And Moxie fouls trying to get the ball back. That'll be Moxie's first, team second. Here with two minutes left. Both teams still showing the 1-2-2 press. While the game's still pretty well contested. McAvoy with the ball. Powell with the tip. Kaiser. Guarded. Moxie gets a steal. He'll bring it on the court in transition. Pushing with good pace as he loses control of the ball, and the ball will stay with the Lions. Rams fans do not agree with that call. I'm not sure I do either. Yeah. I feel that should be going towards the Rams. Powell gets the ball up top. Gives it the ball. Ball looks around, gives it back to Powell. Powell looks to drive. Gets it to Raybeck on the three-point line in the corner. Raybeck drives up top. Looks to get that dribble drive. Spin, jump is no good. Evans brings the ball up. Kicks it to Josh Kauser. Good move. Layup's no good. A lot of easy layups are being missed by the Rams. I feel like if they were making some of these, they'd be up. All jump stops. Layup is good. 14-7. Lions doubling their score on the Rams with one minute left here in the first quarter. Evans with the ball. No look pass. Seems the Lions have switched to a zone of some sort. Roy. Button back. Three is no good. All bring the ball up to court. Gives it to Powell. Powell looks to drive around. Gives it the ball. Raybeck for three. Three is up and no good. Off the front iron. Rebound by Roy Button back. He brings the ball up court. Crosses over. Kicks it out to Jeff Evans. McAvoy. Oh. A flashy pass. Nice pass. Caleb O'Brien. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, height for the Rams. All oh, brings it up to court. Five seconds left. Gives it to Moxie, and Moxie steps out with the ball. Another turnover for the Lions. Hurd checks in for Moxie, I believe. 3.7 left in the first quarter. A little confusing on the Rams side. 3.7 seconds left here. Football passed on the court. Intercepted by Rabick. Plenty of time. It is up and good! Yes, good. Wow. What a shot. Half court jumper is up and good. 17-9, Lions lead here at the, at the quarter break. Lions have a lot going well for them, and the Rams are missing a lot of shots. I feel like this game would be a... A little, little more contested if the Rams are making a lot of those inside shots or getting those looks and not turning the ball over as much. Lions working hard on the boards, getting quite a few offensive rebounds. Uh, earlier in the day, the other boys game, BRLD took down Nebraska City by a, uh, a landslide, and the Louisville boys will take on BRLD to Wednesday, Wednesday night at 6.30, I believe, due to weather tomorrow. And it's still questionable if they will even get it in on Wednesday. They hope they do, but they may not be able to. Rabick, leading scorer for the Lions. And he has seven. And the second leading scorer, Sam All. Leading scorers for Ralston Rams. Cody Turkelson has four. Josh Kilzer has three. And Caleb O'Brien has two. So not a whole lot of production on that side of the ball. Lions will get the ball, or get possession here, going into the second quarter. All gets the ball at the back of the court. All drives in. 
Gets it back to Hurd for three. Three's up and good. 29. Lions are up. 7.40 left here in the second quarter. That's two three-pointers in a row for the Lions as they're starting to pull away. Caleb O'Brien at the top. Back out to Jeff Evans. O'Brien in the paint. Fadeaway jumper, no good. All come down with the rebound. He'll push it up the court for the Lions with some good pace. Kicks it out to Ball. Ball jab steps. Gets it to Hurd. It's all in the corner, wide open for the three. Three is up and no good. Off the back iron. O'Brien with the rebound. Gets it to Evans. Evans pushes the court. Kaiser with the back cut. Way to fill. Two points. 2011, seven minutes left here in the second quarter. All across the court to Klein. All push it up, gets it across half court. Gets it to Rebic, he'll look to drive here. Ball's off the bottom of the net. And that'll be a touch off the Lions, goes out of bounds. Rams will take possession of 6.40 left in the second quarter. Cody Sarifko checks in for the Rams. A 6-2 senior. O'Brien in the middle, pulls up, air balls it. Davian Long will get the rebound. Roy Button back with spin, no good. O'Brien with the rebound. Long with the mid-range, that's a travel violation by Davian Long. Lions started to pull away a little bit. But there hasn't been much scoring here in the last couple minutes of this quarter. I'll bring it up as he has on it for the Lions. Gets it to Klein. Powell also, or I mean Ball also moving up with those two. Ball gets the ball. Terabic in the corner. Back to Ball. Terabic. A lot of back cuts for the Lions in this offense. Gets it to Hurd. Dumps it off to Klein and he is fouled on the shot. I think the foul will be on number 12, Davian Long. That is his That'll second. be his second, team's fourth. Klein will go the Free throw line for two. Lions very proficient free throw through shooters this year, which has really helped them. McAvoy at the score table. He would check in for Davian Long. First free throw is no good for Klein. 2011, six minutes left here in the second quarter. Klein approaches a second free throw. Free throw's up and no good. Very unusual of Harrison to miss his. Free throws, he's a pretty good free throw shooter. Button back with the rebound. McAvoy. He spins, pivots, trying to get out of the trap. Evans with the ball. Gives it to O'Brien, back cut by Button back with the layup, and it's good. All will bring the ball up for the Lions. Gets it to Rabick in the middle. Rabick pump fakes, back to ball, or all. All over to ball. Ball back to all. All pushes and he's called for a travel. That was great defense by Caleb O'Brien. He slid with Sam all the way. Rams are starting to toughen up a little bit. Against the Lions dribble drive. So the Lions have been in a little bit of a scoring drought here at the start of the second half, or second quarter, I mean. McAvoy. Back to O'Brien, back to Evans. Evans drives, kicks it to O'Brien with a first layup, it's good. 2015, five minutes left here in the second quarter. Rams starting to come back a little bit. All kicks it across the ball, back to All, to Klein, Klein to Ball. Ball pass is swatted. Coach Rice catches it on the bench. Lions will maintain possession. Powell checks into the game for Harrison Klein. He'll take a well-earned uh, break. Heard, inbounds it to Ball. Ball over to All. All down court to Rabick. Cross court to Powell. Back to All at the top. All drives in. And he is fouled. He'll go to the baseline for a baseline inbounds. 439 left here in the second quarter. Cody Sirifko. Cody Sirifko picks up that foul. That'll be his first of the night. Anyways, ball gets the ball to wing. All for three. Three's up and good. 
Lions scoring drive ends there with Hall's three. 23-15, 4.30 left here in the second quarter. Lions still showing that 1-2-2 two, two press. Button back draw, draws a foul. Foul will be on Ravik. I believe that will be his first. That's the team's third. That was a shooting foul, so he'll go to the line for two. Rams haven't shot many free throws so far tonight. But his first is up and good. That'll be number 14. Turkleson checks back in the game. Second free throw is up and no good. Ravik will get the rebound. Kicks it out to all. To Ravik. Ravik back to all. See, looks to get across half court. Across the court to Ball. Ball is guarded heavily. And there will be a foul, I believe, on number 10, Joey McAvoy. That'll be his second personal foul. Team's sixth. So the Lions are almost a bonus here. Four minutes left. All gets the ball. Across the court to Ball. Ball drives in. Shot is up and good. 25-16 lines up. Just under four minutes to go. Evans brings the ball to court, trying to avoid that trap zone. Turkison with the ball in the corner, dri drives to the lane. McAvoy, back to Turkison with a three, buries it. Three's good. They cut the deficit to just six now. 3.30 left here in the second quarter. All dribbles around, gets to Powell, over to Ball. Ball to Powell. Ball down court. Gets it across to Rabick, but it is intercepted. Scrum for the ball. Ball get the ball. Oh, drives in, dribble drive. Nice pass to Rabick, and he finishes it. 27-19, three and some change left here in the second quarter. Line still showing that 1-2-2 two, two press. Evans will bring the ball up. Button back with the ball. Drives baseline, kicks it. McAvoy, pull up jumper. And it is no good, but there's an offensive rebound. Ev McAvoy will get the travel. So that would be Joy McAvoy, a turnover on Joy McAvoy. Rams quite a bit of turnovers tonight. Gills are in drip matter, check back in the game. I'll bring the ball up to court for the Lions. To Powell. To Hurd, up the court, all drive. As he gets up, and he finishes through contact, 2.30 left, 29-19, Lions. Evans brings the ball up. McAvoy in the middle, takes it himself. What a beautiful play. Powell bring the ball to all. Two minutes left. 29-21, lines up to ball. Ball bounce pass to all. All looks to get it across to Powell. Powell to ball. Ball back to Powell. Powell looks to drive. Gets it to Hurd. Hurd drives in. Pass is tipped. Rams will regain possession. Strip matter with the ball, pushes it. Gives it to McAvoy. McAvoy with the two. The lead is cut now just to six with 130 left here in the half. Powell to the ball, to all. All guarded heavily. Back to Powell and Powell makes. Timeout taken by the Lions. Yeah. Uh, the Rams starting to make a little bit of a comeback here. And uh, so it's 29-23, and the Lions were up big at one point. And now it's starting to come down. And uh, they're going to finish up the half here in one, one minute, 30 seconds. Lions' Boom. leading scorer is Sam All, but Caleb Ray in a close second. Sam has 10, Caleb has 9. And uh, Joey McAvoy coming alive here with four points. But Cody Turkelson leading the charge with seven. Like Coach Vogt said, for the Lions to succeed, Caleb has to succeed. And 
he's doing that right now with his nine points. But also the second second highlight of the offense is Sam All. And he's also leading, so things are looking good as Sam Llewellyn checks in for the game for the Lions too. Eric will pass the ball into Sam Llewellyn, Sam Llewellyn, which gives it to the other Sam. So he drives around, gets it to Klein. Klein fumbles the ball back to Llewellyn to Sam All. So he resets the offense at the top of the court. Gives it to Llewellyn as he dribble drives, gets it to Klein. And then a little miscommunication there. Klein passes it up and Sam Llewellyn wasn't ready for it. Gives it to Rabick. Rabick dribble drive, looking to finish, and it is up and good, 31-23. One minute left here in the second quarter. Kills over, bring the ball up. Evans in the corner. Turkleson with the three, no good. Ray a bit confused on what to do with the ball as everyone's guarded. Gets Sam All in transition. Sam kicks out to Llewellyn. To Hurd, to Rabick for three. Three's up and good. Caleb Rabick, second three-pointer of the night. 34-23, line starting to pull away here a little bit. 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Kills her. In the middle to Evans. Torgelson refuses the three. Drives to the lane and gets it in. 20 seconds left. Lions up by nine here. Sam All dribbles through the defense. He's going to find Caleb Rabick for three. Three's up and no good. Kills her with the rebound. He pushes the court. Five seconds left. Trapped by the Lions. Tipped. Straight three, batter. two, one. At the buzzer, no and good. And no good. No way. Caleb launches it anyway. <laughs> At the half, it is 34-25. Lions up. Don't go too far. We'll be back here with an interview with Coach Johnson here at halftime. Here we are with Coach Johnson after a huge first round win of the holiday tournament, 74-32. Lady Lions take it. Uh, Coach Johnson, what are your thoughts on the game? I'm pretty happy with our performance. Uh, you never know how your team's gonna come off five days off of Christmas break and, and open gym in the morning. So uh, I was happy with the energy they played with. Uh, didn't expect the ball to probably quite go in as much as it did, but uh, we play with a lot of energy. I think the bench had something to do with that, just trying to give the girls on the floor a little bit of energy by communicating and talking it up. And, and then when they got their opportunity, they took advantage of their opportunities when they were on the floor as well. So good team win tonight. I think almost everybody in the lineup scored. So that's yeah, also that's added bonus. Yep. Uh, 
how hard do you think it is to come off of a moratorium like that and play a game right away with just an hour practice in the morning? Uh, it's difficult. Um, their minds and bodies are still on break. Um, with any luck, they've gotten out and maybe rode a bike or, <laughs> or ran or got on the <laughs> treadmill or something. Uh, very seldom probably got a ball in their hands, maybe shot on their on their backs while laying in the living room. But, uh, yeah, it's mentally more than anything. And then physically with just your game shape, it's tough to – it's tough to come back and bounce back after five days of not doing anything, but that's the advantage of what we have is we have a deep bench, so we're able to go to it early and often, so that, that helped a lot too, and we'll work our way back into shape and, and hopefully pick up where we left off uh, with Malcolm. Yeah, you bet. Uh, final question. You're, you're facing a very good BRLD team on Wednesday. How do you, uh, how do you look to tackle that? Well, you're exactly right. They have uh, they have some great pieces to their puzzle. They have a, a guard that is physical player and can really shoot the three. They have a post player that's 6'2", that really takes up space and is uh, a tough handful down low on offense and defense. And then they have a handful of guards that are just quick and able to attack the basket. So we have to find a way to kind of slow them down, but we also always want to play at a – fast pace so we want to try to get into their bench a little bit and uh, maybe use some different defensive uh, schemes to kind of slow them down a little bit and take them out of their game but I look forward to that being a good challenge for us and kind of being a giving us a marker for the season of where we're at right now and where we want to be yeah actually a couple more questions I have uh, <laughs> uh, I saw you were trying out a whole bunch of new defenses tonight how do you think those worked uh, good uh, we we kind of tinkered with the 1-3-1 against Malcolm for mm -hmm. the first time and then worked with it a little bit this morning and and it's got still got a lot of work to do but we have the personnel to run an effective 1-3-1 uh, our base defense is always going to be man to man yeah. but and then our full court press dropping back into his own defense is kind of a a bread and butter to get teams to play at a fast pace that maybe they're not comfortable with and get them turned over so yeah, we're working on a lot of different aspects on, on our game tonight. Yeah, and that the press, uh, what are your comments on that? That seems to give a lot of teams trouble that you see. Yeah, I mean, you know, with Jennifer, uh, Lexi Hands, yeah. Ella Johnson, those guys are all long and they're tough to throw over. And then we have some speed with the girls that maybe aren't so, aren't so tall and long. We have girls that kind of are really good at anticipating and and predicting where the ball is going to go and stepping in those passing lanes. So, yeah, that's the press is a huge tool for us to get turnovers, transition points, and, and to get the other team rattled maybe a little bit and speed them up. So, Yeah. All right, that's all the time I have, and thank you for taking your time and coming up here. Happy holidays. Yep, you too. All right.
Here we are at halftime. 34-25 lines up. One minute to the start of some more action in the last half of this game. Caleb Rabick, the leading scorer on the night for the Lions. 14 points, four rebounds. Sam All in a close second with 11 points and one rebound. They're pretty much carrying the team. The second, uh, or the closest to that is Eric Hurd of three. Leading scorer for the Ralston High Rams. Number 14, Cody Turkelson with nine points. Second to that is Josh Kilzer with five points. On the boards, Caleb O'Brien leading the Rams with three, and obviously for the Lions. Rabick leading with four. Shout out to Zach Hillebrand and Mark Hillebrand at home. As they're watching tonight, they wanted a shout out. Lions, if they want to keep winning this one, they need to uh, they need to keep getting Caleb Rabick the ball and keep feeding him as one would say. And he's going to be a huge key to the rest of this game. And Sam All is also going to need to keep his production up. Here we go, start of the second half. McAvoy will bring the ball up. McAvoy. Davian Long. Davian Long will take the ball out. Strip matter. McAvoy at top. Hurd will get the tip and he'll save it and give it back to Sam Wall. He'll bring it on the court for the Lions. Sam bring down pace. Gives it out to Ball. Back to All. Offense swings around. Guarded heavily by Turkelson. Sam will drive. No look. Declined the ball to Rabick. Rabick will drive in and. Moving screen. A moving screen is called. Coach Vogt tries to argue his case here. Fouls will be, foul will be on number 12. Talent ball is first of the night. Team's first of the half. Davian Long to bring the ball up. Rams like to space the court. McAvoy. Dribble. And a charge. Harrison Klein will take it. That is McAvoy's third personal. The Lions take a lot of charges. I think Klein has a few on the year and all also has a few. And Rabick probably a couple mixed in there. Klein having trouble finding someone open. Gets it to Hurd. Hurd will try to clear the court. Drives it up and he is fouled by Davian Long. That'll be, that'll be his third personal, team second. 34-25. Lions nine point lead with 6.45 left in the second quarter. Evans and Button back checking the game. Vote still trying to argue his case from that moving screen. Oh, we'll get the ball. He'll look to drive here. Off that dribble drive offense. Dribble drive offense they run. All oh, sets sets the offense up. Finds hurt on a back cut. Nice Euro step. Tries to finish with the left hand, but is fouled. Drip matter. That'll be his first foul. Team's third. Hurt will go to the line for two shots. Line's not shooting too hot with free throws tonight. His first free throw is up and no good. That could be a product of the moratorium break and they're one for four on the night. Could be a product of the moratorium break. No shots maybe. Heard misses his second free throw. One for five, the Lions on the night. Evans dribbles up to the top of the key, setting up an offense. Turkelson with the ball. Button back, drives, gets to the paint, pivots. No good. Harrison Klein with an athletic rebound. Gives it to Alls. He pushed the ball down the court. Kicks it out to Hurd. Hurd pump fakes. No shot. All to Hurd. Hurd dribble drive. Kicks it to Rabick. Pump fake. Looks to drive. Spin move. Great move. Beautiful. Layup's no good, but he gets his own rebound. 
Fumbles around on the floor, gets it to Klein. Klein to All. All to Hurd in the corner. Pump fakes a couple times, gets the defense to bite. Gives it back to Ball, or All at the top, I mean. My bad. Hurd, dribble drive, layups up and no good, but he gets his own rebound again. But it's kicked away by the Rams. Button back pushes with the layup and it won. 34-27, Lions up by seven. 5.30 left here in the second quarter. Foul beyond talent ball, his second, team second of the half. I'll go to the line for two years. Sam Lillian will check in for the Lions. Three point play is good by Buttonbeck. So he converts the end one. 34-28, as Lillian checks in. Ram showing that man-to-man -man press. The Lions need to clear out. And Sam Hall is fouled hard. Evans with the foul. The bench does not like that call. I think he might have stepped out. Coach has his hands on his head. He does not agree with the call. Hurd will bring it out for the Lions. All set the screen. He's looking for an opening. Gets it to Klein. Klein gets it to Hurd on the easy handoff. Heard Yero steps, kicks it out to all. Three is up and no good. Looked good from here though. Just Kills her with strong. the rebound. Kicks to Evans. Strip matter in the paint. A little travel maybe. There you go. There's the walk. That's good defense by Caleb Brevik. Yeah, he's walled up like Coach Coach Vote wants. Take a charge if he has to. And staying as long as possible. Klein to bring it out for the Lions. Powell set a couple screens. Gets it to all. Back to Klein. Rest of the team clears, but two will stay on Sam All. But they do a poor job of that. Klein gets it out to Lou Ellen. Lou Ellen to Powell. Powell back to All. Wide open the three point, looks to drive. Back to Lou Ellen for three. Three is up and good. Sam Lou Ellen, his fifth point of the night. Evans brings the ball up. Back cut and his foul. Oh. That foul be on number 30, number 34, Braden Powell. That'll be his first, team's third. Foul's on the shot, so he'll go to the line. That was just a great design play. Yeah. Good back cut, draws the foul. Evans to the line. This is his first. O'Brien will check in the game. Jeff Evans, a great ball handler, and he's very quick with the ball. He's kind of giving some lines a little bit of trouble. His second free throw is up and good. 37-29, lines up, 440 left in the third quarter. All brings the ball up the court. Ball screen for Klein. Ah, passes to Powell and the ball goes through his hands. So the Lions will turn the ball over there. Rams will take possession. Evans with the ball. No one's in the middle for the Rams. Ball's tipped. All gets a steal. Klein will take it up for two. And he's tipped. Ball's tipped off the glass. Evans will push the ball. Kicks it to O'Brien. O'Brien with the first layup. And, and that's it's good. smooth. Lions bring the ball up in transition. Rams trap. Timeout called. And timeout by, by Coach Vote. 37 31. Four minutes left here in the third quarter. Rams starting to make a little bit of a comeback, only down by six now. As the Lions started to go on a little bit of a run there. But Coach Vote's probably just going to take a 30 second timeout to reset it, reset his Lions here. Going to get him going. Lions are getting really hot now. They're cold. They haven't scored in a minute or two. Sorry, that was my juice box. As a Capri son. Credit <laughs> Mr. Mathis for that. Respect the pouch. Oh, all respect to the pouch. Rams come out of the timeout. So do the Lions. Lions ball. All set a screen here. 
Ball get into Klein. Kind of give it back to Powell as he mishandles it. All drives in. Nothing looking. Gets it back up to Klein as he'll reset the offense. Drives. Aggressive. And he's swatted. He's blocked by Caleb O'Brien. Caleb O'Brien is very lanky on the inside for the Rams. Cordo Moxia checking the game for the Lions. Fouls on number 14, Sam All. That'll be his first personal, team's fourth. 3.45 left here in the third quarter, 37-31. Sam All is doing a great job of limiting his fouls. The yeah. past couple of games have been a little bit tough on that department of the game. Button back to O'Brien. Brian goes to work on Caleb Raybuck. Raybuck finds playing nothing. great defense. Turgosin off the screen. Kicks it to Evans. Evans three off the front of the rim. All brings up the court as he's getting double teamed now. As he pushes, keeps pushing. Gets it to Raybuck. Powell wide open for three. But he doesn't take the shot, just pump fakes. All drives in, dribble drive. Wide open left, no good. Kills her with the rebound. Lions have nothing going here. Three minutes left in the third quarter. Evans just across half court. Gives it to O'Brien. Back cut. There's nothing there. And There's travel. a travel. Pretty clean game played so far. Not a whole lot of turnovers or fouls. Strip matter. Serifko check back in the game. Powell looks like he's going to set a screen for Llewellyn and all. Caleb. Caleb Rabick having fi trouble finding. There's going to be a foul on number. Serifko. Yeah. Number 34. That'll be, be his. That'll be his second. His second. Rams giving the line some trouble. They break the press. It's going to be a three on one. Powell drives in, Euro steps in. No good off the bottom of the rim. O'Brien with the rebound. Kicks it to Evans. Kicks it to Strip Matter. 2.45 left here in the third quarter. Button back with the ball. Button back. Nothing there. Some good defense inside. Porto Moxie using his arms. Strip matter. Drives. Shut off. O'Brien against Caleb. Lions playing great defense. Three is up and Damn. good. 37 34. Button back with the long three. Lions only up by three. They've kind of lost some pace here. Two minutes left here, 37-34, Lions. Caleb Ravick drives in hard. Layup's up, and he's some contact, but no foul. Rams will take it back in transition. Long three again, and it's, and it's good. good. All tied up, 145. Back-to-back back threes. Sam will, will get the ball as he's trapped. He gives it to Powell. Cordell's shot is tipped. O'Brien with the deflection pushes the ball. Rabick playing Strip great matter. defense. And he's fouled. On the floor, Caleb Rabick picks up the foul. That will be Rabick second on the night, team's fifth. Harrison Klein checks in for the Lions. Button back will inbound the ball. Three is up and three good. Strip matter. That's three threes in a row. The Rams are heating up. 37-40, Rams up. That's going to be a foul. On number 22, Rex button back. Harrison Klein bring it out for the Lions. 113 left here in the third quarter. And there was almost a turnover committed. But the ball's out on the Rams. Ball check into the game for Sam Llewellyn. Harrison Klein will keep bringing it out. Sam all trying to get open, but he is, there's great defense. There's a foul. Cody Serefko. Uh, Sam will go the line for that one. 
Lines are in bonus now, so it'll be a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Sam Hall, a good free throw shooter, looks to knock this down. That is Serefko's third personal. Sam Hall approaches his first free throw. It's up and no good. O'Brien with the rebound. Lions shooting very poorly from the free throw line tonight. In both their losses this year, they've shot very uh, poorly from the free throw line. So hopefully that's not any foreshadowing for them. Strip matter with the long three, oh buries it. My God. They are coming alive from the three point line with a turnover, Strip matter. Oh. And he turns it out. That's a great hustle play by Sam Wall. 46 seconds left here in the third quarter. Rams with the ball. O'Brien in, in the middle. There's the a travel. Timeout, Time Rams. 43.4 seconds left here in the third quarter. Rams have come alive on a 12 point, 12-0 uh, run off of four threes in a row. They have not missed. And that's pretty much the reason they're ahead by six points. Coach Votesbury uh, giving them some wise words in the huddle right now on how to turn it around. He's not very happy on what's happening. And the Lion fans are very happy either with what's happening. They need to get Caleb Ravick some more points too. Get him some of the looks. And I think one of the biggest reasons that the Lions are uh, trailing is Sam's been, Sam all has been guarded heavily on that press and they just face guarding him and will not let him go. He finally got a foul called on him, but uh, yeah. They need to get him open as the Rams are still showing a press. Klein will inbound it for the Lions. Lions showing a new uh, inbounding look, kind of a spinner. Bring around the rosy. Caleb Rabick. Show some moves, some handles. And throws away out of bounds. Sends that one into the gym closet. Rams hitting those huge couple of threes. 30 seconds left. 37 43. Rams up. Strip matter in the paint. Rabick with the block. Powell gets the rebound. Ball brings it down the court. Gives it to Rabick. Finds Klein on the inside. And he's fouled. Shot's no good, so he'll go to the line for two. 15.5 seconds left here in the third quarter. O'Brien picks up that foul. Hurdle check back into the game for the Lions. So will Moxie. Klein's free throws up and no good. Lions having some extreme difficulty shooting free throws. Klein's second attempt is up and good. Second free throw made on the night for the Lions. Out of a lot of attempts. 10 seconds left, Rams bring the ball up to court. Button back. Drip matter in the middle. O'Brien on the baseline. Elevates, two points is good. No contest from the Lions. <laughs> 38, 45, Rams up off a huge run. A 14 to two run to be exact. And the Lions, all the momentum has not been their way. Rams contain it every single ounce of the big mo. All the starters will check back in for the Lions. And uh, yeah, a few major threes for the Rams. Lions have been handing some trouble with the press. And like Coach Vote said, they need Caleb Ravick to step up, and he hasn't been producing. And like Coach Vote said, when he doesn't produce, the team doesn't produce, and that's been pretty evident here so far. And to all of our fans at home, juice boxes are for all people of age. Not just seven-year-olds. Like Coach Rasby said. The Lions will be in bonus heading into the fourth quarter. 
Rams putting all their starters back, starters back on the floor. The Rams have rotated, it appears, 10 people tonight have their warm-ups off on the bench. Sam all no more press for the Rams. Sam all get the ball. He looks inside to Rabick. Rabick kicks it out to Hurd. Hurd puts it underneath it for Klein. Klein puts the layup up and it's no good. Douglas Tinder with the rebound. Sam all takes it on the court. Looks to take it up, a left-handed layup is good. 40-45, Lions down by five points. 7.30 left in the fourth quarter. Kills her. Dribbles the corner, gets a trap, that's a foul. I believe that'll be on Harrison Klein. That'll be Klein's first personal. Team six, so not Rams aren't quite in a bonus yet. Douglasson against Caleb. Kicks it to the corner, strip matter for three. No and oh. it goes in. He has not missed at all. 48-40, Rams up. 7.15 left in the fourth quarter. Not much you can do about that. That's just a great shot. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication by the Lions. I feel like this is where the Lions are getting a little bit of trouble. They're playing to not lose at this point instead of playing to win. So playing a little more hesitant. Strip matter with the foul. Cause Harrison Klein to go to the line. That's team's ninth, his second. Klein at the line. He needs to sink a couple free throws here. Button back checks in for the game for the Rams. Free throws up and good. Lions need to start hitting some free throws. That's gonna be big time for them. Klein's second free throws up and no good off the back iron. Button back, rebound. Brings the ball up to court. He's got the kill. Kills her, Kyle's her, kills her. <laughs> McAvoy, button back. Back to McAvoy. Back to button back. Back to McAvoy. To kills her. McAvoy, button back. Button back to McAvoy. McAvoy. Three is up. up. Oh, oh my. my goodness. The Rams, three. Lines are down by 10. Sam Mall drives in. He's getting trapped That's in the corner. Trap. Good and rotation. He's fouled. But there's a foul. Rams coach does not agree with that. Button back with the foul. His first. Button back still has his hands up. You should have had your hands up during the play. All go to the line for two. 6.15 left in the fourth quarter. Free throws up and no oh good. Lions are struggling. Lions are two for 10 from the line tonight. That has not happened ever for them. Second free throw is up and good. Make that three for 11, 42, 51, 6, 10 left here in the fourth quarter. Button back will bring the ball up. Calls an offense. McAvoy, button back top. McAvoy will be fouled. McAvoy will go to the line for a one and one since the Rams are in bonus now. That is Talon's third personal. McAvoy misses his free throw. Hurd will bring the ball up to court for the Lions. Gives it to All. All drives in. Guarded heavily by Davian Long. That's great defense. Gives it to Rabick. Lots of face guarding going on. Rabick jump stop. Left handed Jays up and good. 44 51. Lions starting to carve into that lead. Klein playing heavy defense Button at the back. top of the press. McAvoy. Button back. Guarded. McAvoy. Drives to the paint. Kicks it to button back in the corner. No way. Shot is up. 
No good. That's the first three that the that the Rams have missed in a while. Sam Ellis fouled by Davian Long. Moving his feet a little too much. That is his fourth. Sam will go to the line for two shots. Lions are in double bonus. Evans will check in for the game. Check into the game for the Rams. Oh, shot is up and good. 45-51, 5.08 left here in the fourth quarter. Davian Long takes a seat. Rabick, uh, leading score for the Lions with 16 and six rebounds. All the second leading score, 15 with two rebounds. Second shot is up and good. So 16 for Rabick and all. Lions starting to show some press here. McAvoy. One, two, two press. It's and fouled again. I believe that is on Talon Ball. That is his fourth as well. That'll be Talon's fourth personal. So he's in a little bit of foul trouble here. McAvoy will go to the line for one and one. McAvoy has done a great job just splitting that double team. Drawing Free throws up. And good. It falls 46 52. Lines down by six. 506 left here, and Sam Luan will check in for Talon Ball because he's in a little bit of foul trouble. McAvoy's second free throw. It'll be up and no good off the front iron. Hurdle got the rebound. A little bit of contact. Klein ends up on the ground. Sam All drives around, gets it to Hurd, gets it to All as he's pushed a little bit. He gets it to Rabick down in the corner, and he travels. He got a little too excited. <laughs> the Rams coach is extremely disappointed. He's flailing his arms all over. Coach Vogt giving some words of encouragement. Gets it to McAvoy. McAvoy. 4.45 left in the fourth quarter. Button back. Skips court. To kills her. Who is trapped. And is fouled. And is. Coach about trying to argue his case. Got a little bit of contact. Eric Hurd, that's his second. Brings Josh Kilzer to the line. Kilzer's free throws up and no get off the front iron. Left away short. Ram starting to take off the press. Lions down by six, 4.30 left here in the fourth quarter, so a lot of game left to pl be played still. Ball's tipped, all gets the ball. He drives in, gives a little bit of an elbow. And there will be a foul. It appears Caleb Ravick was tripped, so he'll go to the line for two. Cody Turkelson. That'd be his second personal. Teams are plus 10 now. 4-11 left here in the in the game. Rabick at the line for two. He needs to sink these. Shot is up and no good. O'Brien and Strip Matter will check back in for the game. Caleb Rabick, second free throw is up and good. 47-52, lines down by five, 4 11 left in the fourth quarter. Lions still showing that 1-2-2. Two, two. McAvoy. Fans starting to get into it. Button back. Back to McAvoy. Button back. And a tip stolen by Sam All. Looking to get some momentum here. She drives in, gets it to Rabick. He's gonna drive in aggressively, and he leaves it short. O'Brien with the rebound. Button back with the outlet, pushing the ball up the court. Evans, strip matter. McAvoy. With the spin, and strip matter. That's a tip on that's Caleb That's a tip Ravik. on Caleb Ravik, so that'll stay Rams possession. Evans will inbound the ball. Strip Sam Malone playing some great defense. McAvoy 
Guarded by Sam All. As a foul. That'll be Sam All's second foul. Team's nine, so Joey McAvoy will go to the line. Oh, it'll be team's ten, so Joey McAvoy will go to the line for two. He's been shooting a lot of free throws tonight. McAvoy's first free throws up and good. 47-53, Lions down by six. 3.20 left here in the game. McAvoy's second free throw. Up and good. Lines down by seven. 3.20 left in the game. Gives it to Rabick. Hurd drives in. And a travel. Lines are playing a little flustered now. Lines still showing that press. Evans. Button back. Klein with the tip. Evans. Kicks it to Stroll. Travel. Back. And should have been a foul underneath. Not getting many calls. Sam brings the ball down the court. Gives it to Hurd. Klein open on the three point line. Gives a jab step. Gives it to all. He'll reset the offense. 2.45 left here in the game. Gives it to Llewellyn. Gives it to Rabick underneath. Rabick is foul. It's hook of the line for two. Strip matter with the foul. Lots of fouls here in the second half. As his third. Rabick misses his first free throw. Three for 13 for the Lions. Rabick second free throw is up and good, 48-54. Lions down by six, 2.40 left in the fourth quarter. Evans, far side, bring the ball up the court. Button back. McAvoy. Back to McAvoy. McAvoy. He gets to the middle. Oh, it should be a charge, yep. That is a charge. Sam All takes the charge. They both hit the floor pretty hard. Joey McAvoy's down. I don't think he can believe it. That is his fourth. So he'll take a seat. That, is, that is Sam's former teammate. I'll bring the ball to court. He looks, sets it off, sets up a play. Gets it to Hurd on the three-point line. Finds all. All looks to drive in. Spin move. Left hand to Lev's up and good. 50-54. Lions down by four. Two minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Evans. Cross court pass to O'Brien. O'Brien is getting trapped. There's a oh. foul. Has picked up by four. Number 14, Sam Hall. His third personal, so he's known, not really in any foul trouble there. Ball's the only one that really needs to worry about any foul trouble. He is four. O'Brien to the line. First free throw is good. Vote is still arguing his case. O'Brien's second free throw off front. No good. 145 left here in the fourth quarter. Lines out by five. They need to get something going here. Samal looks to drive. Gives it to Klein. Klein into Rabick. Does some work. Up with the left hand and lay and it's good. Lines out by three. 130 left. Fans starting to get in the game here. O'Brien to Evans. Klein bites a little on the pass. Button back. The Rams spread the court. Yeah. 
Evans at the top. One minute left. Lines up by three. Rams are doing a good job. Oh! Strip matter in the middle. 39 seconds left. And a foul that needed to be committed. Harrison Klein pick up that foul. Talon Ball had the steal, but had it stolen right back. 36 seconds left. 52-55, Rams up. Josh Kilzer will go to the line for the Rams. Rams not shooting too hot from the free throw line tonight either. His first free throw's up and no good. Davian Long will check in for the game. There's a timeout called by Lewis. And Lewis will take a timeout. I assume Coach Vogt's going to uh, drop something for Caleb Rabick here as they need to get him involved and in a big way. They're going to either need a three-pointer or a two and a, and a quick return. Back to the bucket. Looking to either tie or win it here. A three or more. Send them to overtime or a win here. 36 seconds left. Caleb Rabick leading scorer. 20 points, 8 rebounds. Sam All, 18 points and 2 rebounds. And the next one from that, Sam Llewellyn with 5. Leading scorer for the Rams, Roy Buttonback, 12 points. Joey McAvoy, 10 points. Cody Turkelson with 9. Caleb O'Brien with 9. Alex Stripmatter with 9. It's a lot of Rams, almost in double digits here. Which is a good sign for them, but I'm sure that's not what the Lions <laughs> hoped for. Uh, number 33, Alex Stripmatter made a few crucial threes for the Rams. He was really knocking them down. I think he went three in a row with all nine of his points on those threes. So he's a, obviously a big contribution to this. Fans are starting to get into it. 36.1 seconds left, like I said earlier. Lines down by three. Both teams in the bonus, 10 fouls, or double bonus, I should say. Second free throw approach is up and good. Number 14. Cody Turkelson will check back in for the check in the game for the Rams. Klein will take it out. Gives it to All. All will let the ball roll for a little bit, so the time doesn't start. 35 seconds left. Sam All will look to drive. Get her guarded heavily by Davian Wilson. Rabick looks to drive. Ball's tipped, stolen by the Rams, and there's gonna be a foul on Caleb Rabick. Just too aggressive on that one. That is his third. The only person in foul trouble is uh, Talon Ball with four. Button back, we'll go to the line. First free throw shot is up and no good. So a little bit of Lions fortune there. 24.3 seconds left. 52-56, Rams up. Second free throw attempt is up and good. Lions down by five here. And he gets something going. Caleb's three is up and good. 55, 57. Lines down by two now after Caleb Rabick's clutch three. 14.4 seconds left. Caleb Rabick also made a, I remember him making a very critical three last year against JCC for the Lions' first win. He made a buzzer beater to win it. And that was a, uh, a huge win for the Lions. Lions' fortunes are a little different this year, though. They're on a much better winning record than what they were last year. Last time these two teams met was at a, the holiday tournament in Nebraska City last year. And I believe the Lions lost by only four. So a little bit of the same fortune here. Rams losing a couple crucial players that graduated. So they're left with a pretty, they're pretty old, but a lot of new, new faces on their starting lineup. 
which could be huge, but the Lions have started almost all these players before, except for Harrison Klein. But otherwise, all these other players have started with a whole lot of with a whole lot of varsity experience. Fifteen seconds, so uh, a whole other second was put back on the clock for the Lions. So fifteen seconds, 55, 57, Rams up by two. Both teams in the double bonus. So many fouls, someone's going to line for two, which could be big. Lions are showing a huge press here. Everyone on that side of the court. Evans. They're going to let Evans get the ball. They're going to foul him. So he'll go to the line for two. 13.7 seconds left. Harrison Klein with the block. That is his third. Jeff Evans will go to the line. His first free throw is up and good. So Lions really need him to miss the second one. He just needed to miss one of those for them to have a huge chance. Davian Long will check back in. Second free throw is up and no good. So here come the Lions, 10 seconds left. They get it to Rabick. Rabick looks, looks around, gets it to Hurd. Hurd's fouled on the three. 2.7 seconds left. So he'll go to the line. For three shots, the ref confirms it. He has Two to point. make all three of these. He's got to make all three of these for a chance. Cole Albert seems to be chilling out the sideline. First free throws up and good. good. 56, 58, 2.7 left. Heard stays cool and collected. Rams will take a timeout to try to ice him. <laughs> this is a hard spot to be in for Eric Hurd. And uh, he's got to make all three of these, otherwise he's going to be under. He's definitely under some pressure already, but he'll be under some pressure after that if he misses one. But let's not talk about that as we hope he makes it. Uh, there's actually a, a moment like this a few weeks earlier when Ella Johnson for the girls had to make a couple free throws to send them to overtime against Nebraska City, and she iced both of them. They ended up winning that game in overtime. So maybe a little bit of the same fortune here. Shout out to the Fremont Journal journalist, Brent Harden, who's very faithful to the Lion community and comes to every, every Lion sporting event that he can, football, softball, baseball, anything. He's always there. So both teams break their huddle, 2.7 seconds left. Both teams in the double bonus, 56-58. Hurd will be at the line for two. Two more, at least. The gym is extremely silent. Free throws up and good. good. Serefko checks in the game. Hurd's then collected. No one in the gym is moving. Hurd's free throws up and it is good. good. Cole oh Albert. Oh my God. Cole Albert is pumped behind the bench. That is quite the man, Cole Albert. Ralston take a timeout. You know those free throws wouldn't have been as pressured if the Lions would have had more have, free throws throughout the game. If we could have done that earlier in the game, it would have saved us all a lot of stress and heartache. So 2.7 seconds left, 58-58. Both teams in double bonus. Lions don't want to foul here. They're probably just going to let it run out and see what uh, protect the protect that side of the court. They'll take their chances over a half-court shot over a uh, an easy three-pointer uh, layup. Any shot that goes in is uh, going to win them the game here. So they're probably drawing up. Ralston's drawing up a 
their best play and Lewis will drown up their best defense for what they think is going to happen. This is quite the game. It is indeed. Lions break the huddle. Ralston has two timeouts left. Lions have one. Lions back guarding. Rams move up. Three is up and no good off the rim. So we're going to overtime, some free basketball. The Lions fans are pumped up about this one. It was looking kind of kind of dim for the Lions there at one point, but here they are all tied up. Some free basketball. People who are in foul trouble. Talent Ball is in some foul trouble with four fouls. Davian Long has four. Joey McAvoy has four. So the Lions, or the Rams in more foul trouble than the Lions, which is good for the Lions, I guess. Four minutes is going to be put on the clock here for some free basketball. And everyone's on pins and needles in here. Looking to take the first game of the holiday tournament. Coach Rice makes a journey out to the out to the referees. This could be interesting. I don't know what he said, but now he's walking back. What a man. Lions did not shoot well from the free throws to uh to start the game out, but Eric Hurd really clutching up and making those three. Didn't really see that quite often. Three in a row, but he, he did it. Caleb Ravick in number 20 for the Rams. Caleb O'Brien will be jumping for the Rams and Lions. So here we go, four minutes of free basketball. Rabick. Lions win the tip. Get it on to Klein. Klein jump stops. Heard. Jab steps. Gets it to Klein underneath. Gets it the ball up top. Down to Heard. For three. Three's up and no good. Kills her with the rebound. He pushes the pushes the ball up the court. Joey McAvoy is back in the game. No surprise there. Caleb O'Brien going to work on Caleb Rabick. Strip matter. Goes baseline. And he falls. falls That's got to be a ground. travel. No. no. No travel called, but Lions get the get the ball. Hurd brings it up the court. 3.20 left in the, in the over, first overtime. All sets up an offense. And all mishandles the ball, so they'll call that a travel, which is fine. Still 3.13 left. There's a lot of basketball left to be played. Ball's inbounded. Kills her. Lions still playing that man defense, it appears. Strip no, it's a, it's a zone, I think. No, it's man. McAvoy. Kills her. The Rams coach calls out a play from the sideline. Kills her with drive. Gets a foul. There's a foul. He'll go to the line for two, I believe. Harrison Klein, that's his fourth personal. So Harry's in a little bit of foul trouble here. Powell checking into the game for the Lions here. After his first free throw, 251 left. 58-58. First free throw's up and no good. Off the left side of the rim. Brandon Powell, Harrison Klein will take a seat. Second free throws up and good. Off the bank, bank's open. Powell inbounds it to all. I'll bring it down the court. All looks to get in. Rabick for three, just jab steps. Gives it to Hurd. He brings it around the court quickly. To ball. Gives it to Rabick. Rabick dribble drive. He brings it in for two, 60-59, 2.25 left. The Rams bring the ball up the court, strip matter. 
Some great defense by the Lions and a timeout called by the Rams. Some great pressure. Lions fans really getting into it here. What a great game. Lions up by one. They were down by, I don't know how much, I think 11, nine at one point. Yeah, they were down by nine at one point. Now they're back up by one here in overtime. I still think if uh, the Ram or if the Lions shot a little better from uh, the free throw range, that they uh, would have won this game. I wouldn't have to go to overtime. But credit to the Rams; they're playing extremely hard. Had a lot of great shots fall for them. Timeouts wise, Lions have one left. Rams have two. So I can guarantee we're going to see all of those timeouts used here. Throughout this, uh, throughout this overtime period, 2:15 left. The Rams will bring it out, setting up some sort of play, a double screen. McAvoy, set for McAvoy. O'Brien, back cut. O'Brien drives in on Rabic. McAvoy, screen by O'Brien. Strip matter in the corner. They're playing heavy D on him as he's made a few threes. That's excellent D. Great D by Sam Wall. McAvoy resets. The fans get loud here. Oh, that and a charge. a charge on McAvoy. That is his fifth personal foul. And he's going to check out the game. He's fouled out. That was a great defensive possession for the Lions. What a great game, 140 left. Lines up by one. Rams out of that press. McAvoy's played a great game and he's gonna take a seat on the bench after fouling out. All's double teamed. Rabic pump fakes. Heard for three. Three's yes. good! Extends the lead to four. You betcha! Lines up. 63, 59, 115 left. Strip matter. Get right back with the steal. It's tipped around. Two lines on the floor for Evans three. For three. Three's no good. Rabic gets the rebound. They're going to swat him. Rabic's going to line for two. 103 left in the game. <laughs> Alex Strip matter. That is his fourth. If this doesn't give you goosebumps, folks. <laughs> Rebic at the line. First free throws up. And no good. <laughs> Cody Thurgoldson will check in the game. Rebic second free throw approach is up. It is up. 65-59, Lions of 103 left in the game, or this overtime period, I should say. Powell heavily guarding. Evans. Powell, great defense, hands up. Coach Vote says. O'Brien to the rim, it's good. Lions can afford that. Up by three still, 64-61, 45 seconds left. Sam all pushing. Heard some great dribbling on the baseline. O'Brien. <coughs> Caleb Brave will go to the line. O'Brien's second personal. Cole Albert. Cole Albert. <laughs> he is quieting the bench. Just smack Chase Savage in the face, but it's all good. Oh, no good. No good, off the front of the rim. Cool, Albert, not happy. Braden Powell takes a seat. Harrison Klein checks into the game. I think he could be our mascot. Cool, Albert? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. The shot is up. And it's good. 65-61, 33.6 seconds left in the overtime period here. Evans will bring the ball up. Lions getting into it. 
Led by Carrie All. <laughs> the C team head coach. Three's up. Trip matter. Oh my Barry's God. Barry's a three. Timeout taken by Ralston. He does not miss. That's 12 points for him. Caleb Rabick has a shocking 27 points and nine rebounds. Yeah, straight matter with 12, with four threes. That's an impressive performance. 22.5 seconds left, lines up by one. That was a very clutch three by Strip Matter. This is uh, quite the game. Lots of swings. I don't even know what to say. Obviously. Coach Rice gives Coach Roth a reassurance pat on the back. <laughs> Coach Roth uh, <laughs> always seems to be a little uh, anxious in this time. <laughs> I think he's always anxious. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Roth. He did uh, score a perfect 36 on the ACT, so you know his uh, his brain is always flying. I think more he's more than flying. And a college pitcher at Doan. How impressive. Yes. Now he's the... Was the JV coach last year for the high school boys. Now he's the middle school coach. Succeeding at that level. And the new JV coach this year. Coach Brady Furley. Out of Red Cloud, Red Cloud High School. He's done a good job with those boys. As they win quite a bit. Lots of pressure. Sam All brings it up the court. Brings it to Harrison Klein. Pump fake and it's good. 67-64. 15 seconds left. Rams bringing it down the court. Run back. Caleb O'Brien for three. No good. Rabick with the rebound. They're going to foul him. 5.9 seconds left. Oh, my gosh. Five point nine seconds left. Caleb Rabick at the line looking to ice these free throws. Cole Albert looks side to side. Lost in words. Free throws out. And it is good. Now it's a two possession game. Sixty eight, sixty four, five nine left. Dimitri Moxie now quieting the sideline. Free throws up and no good. Rams. Three. Two. Three is up. And it is good. That is a one heck of a shot. And a time. In a, t huh. Some people are arguing if there's time left on the clock, but Rawson, I think, does get the timeout off. That's Strip Matters' 15th point of the night off five threes. It's got to be a record somewhere. <laughs> there's 0 .0, 0 0.3. There seems Seconds to be an left. airplane over the building. Yes, I do believe there's an airplane over the building. How convenient for this game. <laughs> Kurt Manor dropping bombs. I don't know if I can say that on air. <laughs> <laughs> there's point three left on the clock. <laughs> oh my God. Lions drawn up a play. I think they're just going to want to inbound it and hold on to it. Shouts out to Cole Albert, though, holding that sideline together. That is impressive. I've never seen someone do that before. Cole Albert is a man. He, he is, is a, a man. He's a myth, and he is a legend. I think they're just going to chuck it up. Or what Caleb Ravick's going to do is he's going to chuck it up across the court and hope someone grabs it. That's exactly what he does. That's exactly what he does, and that's ball game. That's ball game. Lions win 68-67 in the first round of the holiday tournament. Round of applause for the Rams, though. Yeah. Great game. K Caleb Ravick being the leading scorer for the Lions, 28 points, 10 rebounds. That's a double-double. Double-double for Caleb Ravick as he averages all year. Sam All, 18 points, 2 rebounds. 
for the Rams, Joey McAvoy, 10 points. Ray Button back, 13 points. Cody Turkelson, 9 points. Caleb O'Brien, 11 points. And Alex Sturmatter, 15 points off of threes. Ends up being the leading scorer off of five threes. Thank you all for tuning in. and We will see you on Wednesday. Not tomorrow, Wednesday. We'll see you at 2 for some more basketball. Lions will take on BRLD, both boys and girls. And Nebraska City will take on Ralston, both boys and girls. Thank you all for tuning in, and see you later.